right, everything looking good. Everything looking balanced. Got the music in the background. Which I'm gonna turn this down just a tiny bit, but not too much. Turn this up a little bit. All right. <laughs> Hey, yo, what's good? What's cracking? What's happening? Yeah, this is Mr. Blade Frankel here. And today we are continuing the My Rise journey. Now, so far we left off to where we just got through a hell of bullshit to deal with with Jake Paul and WrestleMania and multi-universal infinite champion bullshit. So now we are back on the road to defending our title and holding the longest reign we can. I believe we're past 660 plus days. And right now we're in the story modes where we're now working against Gunther, the man with the longest reigning intercontinental championship and the greatest intercontinental champion of all time. So before we fully jump into that story, of course, I'm going to make sure that we take care of our side missions because you know me, I enjoy the side missions. And plus, just like any other story mode, you always want to make sure you do everything, every side mission, every detail, so that way you can make sure that, you know, your guys, your, your player is top notch, top level, you know what I'm saying? And of course, like always, if you guys do enjoy, please follow, like, whatever. And then of course, the, the replay will be on here as well as on the YouTube Blade Franco plays So if you ever want to see the replay or you want to see the whole journey and it doesn't happen to be here Go to the YouTube. It's over there as well. So enough yapping Let's go ahead and get this working and make sure I turn off the sound on my thing I'm gonna Make sure I'm Gucci I died I died. Oh, yeah and I got, got one of my other jerseys today. I hope you guys like. I got my Soul Reaper jersey. My anime jersey today. Shout out to my Soul Reapers. Got the Mr. Blade Frank on the back. Hope you guys can see it well. Because you know me, I, I can't really see that much. Alright. <laughs> so, now we got all that out the way. Let's go ahead and get it popping. Let's see what's going on with our side missions. We got Ava. Oh, the biggest hater that was around during the women's run for me. We got Troy bitch ass, which I still wish I could have Troy in one match. Just one match so I could knock the shit out of him. And then we got Rose here. I don't know who she is. I don't know what she about, but it's all right. So let's go ahead and get started and take out these challenge missions. Hey, I know you've been dominating, but looks like you might have an even bigger test coming with Gunther and Imperium. Probably makes sense to get ready for anything. And since there isn't a ton of time, you might as well get ready for everything all at once. How about an extreme rules match against Tommaso Ciampa? It's the perfect way to prepare for that tough battle ahead, you know? You know, honestly, I fucked with you and that makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's take, let's take on Tommaso in the extreme rules match. Get a little hardcore, you know what I'm saying? Um, make sure I turn up my mic a bit. I did do a little bit of adjustments. Turn this down a little. All right, we should be Gucci Bandana. Yo, you don't know how much I still get annoyed with the fact that I just, I can't play the actual NXT, music. Now I his want to, but I can't. To WWE. The following is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring, representing DIY from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. A multiple time NXT champion and has also held the NXT tag titles. I, I love Tommaso Ciampa gets to come out with his black heart jacket. It, it, it's always been the coolest. I don't hate what's going Cal on with DIY, history, but, but, but I do like seeing it's what's going to happen the with them in the future. Course. Speaking of that, Yo, have y'all seen the new tag titles? Oh, let me make sure to turn this down real quick. Because y'all y'all see mine just about five million times. But yo, the new tag titles? Raw Sma Raw's tag titles, the World Tag Team titles, they look okay. They look like major versions of the World Heavyweight title. 
But I mean, they're decent, and they're actually still a better design than the penny belts that we've had for the longest. Now, SmackDown's new belts, the WWE Tag Team titles, those are fire. I actually really like them. They have a nice classic look. They look like a perfect mixture of the old school World Heavyweight, the World Tag Titles, and WWE Tag Titles, the old school ones before the, the penny belts came out. And yo... I really like those. I'm a big fan of those. I could truly say I like the SmackDown belts way more than the than the Raw belts. There's nothing better than but extreme rules. Let's go ahead and get into this real fast and you know, I'll keep up the rest of the talk. There's always a lot of anticipation Try to be for a chill. Like I don't think that's going to be hard. I'm not saying champ is easy, but I know what I'm doing to this champ. I'm on fire right now. Run. Right now, my universe you knows down far. Took out, took out a lot of big time opponents. We got a fresh battle on the way now. Badly injured. Left by the turnbuckles. He was waiting for him to make his move. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. I will admit, I, I really like the dodge system. The dodge system helps a lot. Like getting through these battles. Expected that one. Come on, come on. I'm, I'm slick, bro. You can't stop me. Oh man, you can you know, see he's feeling it now. Big forearm. <laughs> Phenomenal. Yo, but SmackDown last oh, night, SmackDown last night was pretty oh, good. Like, um, getting dismantled here. I do Chimba like the fact that AJ Styles is now being here. treated truly as the main eventer as he's supposed to win. To where now he, he, he's going to be main eventing Cody's first defense with the WB title. And honestly, I see it as a banger. Fun fact for anybody that doesn't know, there was a time before where, um, I believe back when TNA was NWA TNA, there was a match before to where Dusty Rhodes held the, the um, NWA title, and it was him versus AJ Styles. It could be wrong on who held it, but they did have a match for the NWA title. So I think it does make sense, as well as it's pretty cool, that you now have AJ Styles going up against his son for the WB title. Watch out. Oh, I was going to throw the chair at him. I didn't want to hit the ref. Yo, but honestly, that match is going to be a banger. Like, you already know Cody's most likely going to win, because I don't see it making sense for Cody to lose his first defense. Like, it, it, all that work in the story just for him to lose the AJ, I don't see it. But, I do expect a banger of a match, and I expect AJ not to make that match easy whatsoever. So, I'm, I'm definitely hyped for that. But yeah, like I was saying with the tag titles, though, on Raw earlier this week, we, we, are, we did get to see, like, a big, a big um, eliminator match. Well, not a eliminary match, but a big, I believe it was a triple threat match inside number the tennis. And I like the fact that DIY won. And DIY is going to be the first opponents to go up for the belts. Because now, now it brings a little bit of interest with a whole group of people that was all, all like in it together. To now they have to go up against each other for the newly crowned championships. I think that's actually pretty cool. And it no brings a little interesting dynamic about. on what we're going to see. Very measured elbow drop. Now with SmackDown, I really I really think I'm going to like the, um, having Grayson Waller and also Darius as tag team champions. They bring a lot of a heel factor that you don't notice too much nowadays. You know what? We're going to make this, make this match good. I can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. So, Maybe so I, I, I kind of, I kind of can't wait to see what's going to happen with um, the, the tag, the SmackDown titles, but their first the opponent is going to be the Street Profit. Now I ain't gonna lie, I kind of would like the Street Profits out of nowhere to do the impossible and just take these guys out on their first defense. Because I think the new titles would actually look good on on, on the Street Profit. Compromise position here. Since we have you here. Ooh, I love the ultimate drop here. Alright, let's go ahead and make this match good. Oh, okay, he was ready. He was ready. So far as I played this, I haven't had anybody go through the table yet. So this is going to be like the first one. 
Alexa, set volume to 5%. Make sure that volume down. Yeah, he's really being put to the test. Yeah, yeah, champ, but you going through this bitch. Wait, did it count? I don't know if it counted, but we'll, we'll say it counted. <laughs> But yeah, so far we, we already got some banger matches coming up for for um, backlash. We got the Raw tag titles. We got the um, Archer and Miz taking on DIY. We got the SmackDown titles to where, to where we got um Theory and Austin Aries and Theory and Grayson Waller going up against who they going up against? They're going up against um, Street Profits. It works well with a nice dynamic. But I should focus because for some reason, I don't know why, but Tommaso Ciampa already seen to reverse both my signature and finisher. So it's like, Tommaso knows he's not trying to let me hit shit right now. <laughs> Which, I ain't, I can't be mad at him. Right now, I'm fighting him in Extreme Rules match. The last thing you want is someone like me to take you out. Alright, enough of this boy. Let's go ahead and get this going. Okay, I, I noticed the wrong button I'm pressing. I got pressed square when I bought it on the final items. Yo, but Tommaso gotta stop reversing all my stuff, bro. If you want, if Tommaso wants me to end this sooner, he's gonna have to let me do something, man. I'm not letting him do anything to me. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Right, let's try this again. Reverse. Fuck. Of course he's going to reverse. You know what? Meet you in the ring. Get back in the ring, bro. I want to drop him through, through this ladder so bad, but Tommaso's not giving me a chance to do so. So, this is going to be interesting. Come on in. Come on in. The ring is fine. He's like dropping right now in the head. Oh, no, no. Tommaso's ready. Look, at the end of the day, you can't sleep on Tommaso Ciampa. He's, he's actually a very skilled wrestler. He got a lot of tips to his tension. Tenured, I'm sorry. I'm not using the right words because I'm energized. I had a nice workout today. So you, your, your boys are prepared for today. Prepared for the long run. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. Snapman takedown. Oh, look at that one place right elbow way right on the mark. And you can tell these attacks are disorienting him. Sustained attacks. He's gonna go for a quick pin. I bet right now I can take him out right now with just that. Okay, well, I didn't have to do anything else. I was hoping so, but fuck it. I was able to get him out now. I just noticed. Wow. My camera looks like it's on the slow mo. Oh, give me a second, y'all. Try to see if I can fix my camera real fast. Nobody can keep the WWE Universal right, Champion down. That should be good. That should be good now. Transition. Yep, there we go. Shit, the camera should be a better traction. No one likes to lose, but Champa downright abhors it. He's even more dangerous. That was a nice extreme rules match. You know, I wanted to do more, but Champa wasn't letting me, which is respectful. I wouldn't let me do that either. But we're going to continue on. Gunther, I'm going to take. I'm, you're not stopping me on my reign, bro. But, yo, can I say Gunther truly is one of the best Intercontinental Champions. My boy came onto the came onto the main roster. And I think he, he was only, like, not a champion for, like, two to three months. And then instantly became a champion. And a champion that couldn't be beaten. Which, that's phenomenal. What's Listen, up, Travis? Champ, I've been thinking. The ring can turn into a right old brawl. Bodies flying and bones cracking. But there's a glimmer of beauty in that chaos. Hmm. Now, what if we could take all that pain and fury and put it to good use, eh? A charity submission match where the art of the tap out meets the heart of raising a few quid for those in need. What you say? Honestly, I'm I have no I have nothing wrong with like doing anything for charity, especially if it was like a nice charity event. And it's a mission match, something I do enjoy. I mean it's a win-win right there. So alright, let's do it. 
Because either way, it's going to be an easy match. It just depends who am I facing. If I'm facing someone technical, it's not going to be easy. If I face somebody who's not technical, it's going to be easy. All right, we back at BCW for this one. I'm cool with it. Oh, I'm going up against Travis himself. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, Travis would be somebody else who I would enjoy um, facing on my universe and everything, which I'm still planning on doing soon. I will be doing a my universe very soon. gonna try some real fast i want to see if i can move the camera i want to move it to a spot that's not interfering but at the same time you know get a good view and we'll turn down we'll shorten the camera a bit too there we go all right that looks good that looks good uh, yeah yeah i think i like that but look at that champ. Look at the champ. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Honestly, I've done pretty well with my character, honestly. Like, very well detailed. Like, he looks like me if I was definitely more cleaned up. I'll admit it. I definitely should take a portrait and, like, you know, finally render myself in the game with a portrait. I purposely haven't done it because, like, I just haven't. But I definitely should soon. Alright, let's go ahead and get it started. This is gonna be a tough battle. We're going up against, against the classic right here. And Travis is not somebody to go down easy. Oh, As a reminder, I am playing this whole mode on legendary mode, so we're going to get we're in the game on the hardest difficulty. So even if it looks like I'm getting through this pretty easily, I promise you I'm, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. Okay, come on, Travis. I think you about it. I think one thing I did enjoy with Travis in like um in the get in the last year's game, I enjoyed the fact that Travis would, would express how much he used to work with WCW. And his dream was always just to like be a champion to face the biggest opponent in WCW to where you had to play as Travis. And honestly, it wasn't that bad playing as Travis. I, I wouldn't as a choice, but it wasn't that bad. But man, <laughs> right now I feel kind of bad I'm beating the crap out of him. I But I've learned something weirdly enough. I feel like the best coaches or the best inspiration for coaches in when it comes to wrestling is a uh, is usually an older guy from from the, the the right side of the world per se. Somebody from England, um, Ireland, like anywhere in the UK. I feel like they they produce not only the most technical wrestlers, but the but the most phenomenal coaches of wrestling. Which is why someone like William Regal is somebody who, like, I would love to learn from if I could. Or, um, if Travis was a real person, shit. Travis feels like he would be a, a, a good coach, even though he does some fuck shit. Sometimes, to be a good coach, you gotta do a little fuck shit to, to, to influence your, your wrestlers. That kick to the face with some fuck shit, and I feel a little bad for that, but I gotta do what I gotta do, Travis. Alright, but well, let's end this, because I, I don't want to keep beating on him like this. But if he does reverse it, it's not my fault. Nope, alright. Wait, no, he has his hit. Yeah, he's gonna get out of it. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna have to put him in again. Come on, you beast. Travis, you wasn't gonna catch me from that far. I don't, I don't know why you was thinking that was gonna work, bro. Come on. Grab 
Memphis really think he's going to get a, get an upper hand in this. I don't see much of it. And it's on the chair. Alright, well, smart to go to the corner, but, but not smart enough to try to stop him. But he did stop that submission. Now it's over. Like I said, I don't want to keep beating up on the man. This is a charity match. It's not a championship match. But Travis gave me a good fight. He gave me a good fight, nonetheless. I don't know what it is, but I just, I really love the, the, the hammer and chin lock. It's simple, but it's effective. And sometimes you just need the simplest move to be effective. You don't always need the fanciest move to do it. Like, personally, for me, I feel like the last Chancery, something that Austin Aries um, did, did very well, I don't ever believe that move could really hurt you enough to make you tap out. Every time I see that move, my, my only thought is just roll over the body and you can simply roll over the effect of it. That's, that's what I believe. Because all because because yeah it's a it's it's a chin lock but it's done with a fancy flip over, which I think does a little extra. But nice, we got Travis now as a reward. Cool, cool. Okay, let's up these stats and then let's get into the more of these side stories. I'm kind of just rushing through them in a way, so we could get onto our main story. All right, throw up the submission a little bit. Throw up the resistance a little bit. There we go. What Kaiser saying here? Mr. Blake Franco should heed Gunther's name out of his mouth, lest he draws a greater man's attention. I ain't worried about it. Gunther's gonna be taken out easy. All right, I'm not gonna read all these side stuff. But the My Rise is good. If you guys do enjoy My Rise, as well as all the side details and dialogue, recommend y'all check them out. But me personally, I'm not going to read them all. I'm going to read just the ones that are meant towards what I'm working in. What Grimes talking about? <laughs> as a locker room leader, just thought you want a heads up. Gunther and Imperium are the least of your problems. What now? Things are very disturbing backstage. I just got attacked for no reason by Baron Corbin. For no reason. Whatever. Either way, it sounds like who I'm fighting is the least of your problems. Legitimately, no reason. And it's your problem too. It's total anarchy. People are exploiting Miz's lack of leadership without consequences. And when there's a lack of authority, people turn to someone worse. You know, someone like Gunther. Now, if you were to do something like take out Baron Corbin might send a message that there's still some people, someone people can trust. All right, fair enough. You got a point. You got a point. I guess you have a point. And it doesn't surprise me that Baron Corbin is trying to take advantage. Probably would be a good idea to put him in his place. Great. I feel safer already. Now, I hope he's not setting me up just to make me waste my energy. But at the same time, we got to control that. Baron Corbin is a bully, though. I mean, I know, I know technically I believe he's a nice guy in the back, but himself is a bully off the rip. Hold on. Just give me one second, y'all. I feel like my camera is out of whack. There we go. All right, deactivate. Activate again. Okay, cool, cool. I know I keep turning my camera on and off, but I'm trying to make sure it works fine. The last thing I want to do is keep having like um, issues on it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the lone wolf mentality is back. No one's safe. Bear Corbin does look good though in the game, and I do like his resurgence since he, since he's been on NXT. Was definitely must need. Kansas City, 
Weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin. If you ask Baron Corbin, he will tell you that he is the epitome of what being a WWE superstar is all about. Now, Corbin, I expect a little bit of a tough match. Not the toughest match, but I expect a tough match nonetheless. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE. It's a superstar who couldn't be denied and now electrifies Oh yeah, I, I forgot I was meaning to fix the universe. video um, off, off stream, but it's all right. I'll get to it at some point. Still looks good nonetheless. And I just have to fix Robert one little detail. Weighing in at 245 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, yeah, the Dark Horse, Mr. Blade Franco. It just goes to show you, you can't judge a book by its cover, and you can't judge a wrestler by where they start their career. All right, we're going to see my entrance five million times, so we'll go ahead and skip it for now. Holding the title will do that for you. Whether you're okay, defending okay. the gold or not, there's always extra eyes on the champ. Question is, whether he can handle the pressure of representing his title tonight. I have a feeling we're about to get our answer. He's squaring off against Baron Corbin, who really has a renewed sense of focus as of late. This might just be the most dangerous version of Corbin we've ever seen. This, this should be the most dangerous version of, version of Corbin, but I just beat Kane, who came back out of nowhere. I just survived a hellacious five-man elimination chamber. You really think I'm going to be sweating Baron Corbin a lot of people? He saw it coming. Look at this. The man's already at, already at orange. Uh oh. Up in. But I definitely should not take him lightly. He will with my ass. Dodges out of the way. Oh, what a close okay, line. Okay. Forcefully delivered. They are fading off the WWE fans. Now pinning the arm down and delivering nasty stops. And repeated oh, impacts no. like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. Oh, and a stop. Okay, okay, let's, uh, let's cut down this, this assault. Chop. You got a good run of hits. Now I gotta oh, get mine. This blitz is just. Oh, man. Every single one hitting the mark. Are you going for the nine? We ain't leaving yet, bro. I'm not done with you yet, bro. Gloating for the world to see. Oh, what a kick. Like I said, I do like how Bear Corbin has been as of late. I, I definitely feel like going to NXT definitely did research him, like I said earlier. As well as the fact of him being a tag team champion and winning the Dusty Classic both with Ron Breaker, which, let's be real. I, I know for a fact Braun Breaker did not need that, but I feel like it helped Corbin more than it helped Braun, even though it didn't help Braun Breaker's accolades before he left NXT. Because he was already NXT champion for like a good amount of time and a dominant one at that. Him going for the tag title or like on Baron Corbin just was like a little icing on the cake, I can say. Oh, I say, well, they don't let me take you out from the DDT now. Uh oh, high risk, cross body. Just exhibiting their fearlessness, exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Get your ass Toss back, back in the into the ring. ring. Need you to get up real quick. Damn it. Okay, I was trying trying to get a little space on that y'all pick, but didn't get enough space. That's all me. <laughs> but I ain't letting Corbin catch me though. Not that easy. He turns it around on Corbin. Oh, here it comes. Now let's hit this man with the 808. Oh, God, that rearranger 
I bet you he's going to kick out, though. Nope, one and done. Let's go. Victory, but a win nonetheless. Let's take another look at these guys in action. That was a nice one and done right there. Is it me, or do I always feel like the referees got to always put their ass on the screen? I don't know. Like, they always got to make a turn to put their ass straight on the screen just so you can get three count. Like, bro, you don't have to do that. Just be visual for the three count if you want to be on the screen. You don't have to show your whole backside to the them. Sometimes they be blocking the, the shot just for they love this guy so much? Oh, I hate to say it, but... I could be Nick Payton. I could be. I could be. He sure did. Like I said, don't mind me right now. I'm very wired up. I'm pretty sure in the next few hours, I'm not going to be as talkative, but fuck it. <laughs> nice work. A cloud has been lifted in the locker room. Everyone is much calmer. Glad I could help. It's baffling how some people keep blabbering that you're not a strong leader. Every time I hear it, I shut them down. Trust me, from where I stand, you're doing great, and it's high time they're recognizing it too. Who's saying that? I should I shouldn't have said anything. It's not my business. Everyone's got their opinions, and just because I heard Seamus talking a bunch of nonsense doesn't mean anything. Seamus, Seamus said I'm not a strong leader. That that really doesn't sound like him. That's why I was so leg so legit shocked to hear it. He keeps calling you a paper tiger. A paper? What the fuck is a paper tiger? <laughs> I've heard a paper champion, but what the fuck is a paper tiger? <laughs> Said you might handle Baron Corbin, but according to Sheamus, a legit wrestler like him isn't scared of any empty threat like you and Gunther isn't either. His words, not mine. Sound like, Gun sound like Sheamus and I need to have a little chat. We're so lucky to have you. I'm already convinced after the whole thing with the ring that I feel like Grimes is purposely sending me out to take out some of the biggest, baddest wrestlers just so he could try to get ahead and then I'm going to end up facing Grimes right before this side story is over. I'm, I'm pretty confident that's what's going to happen. Mr. Blade Franco versus WWE Sheamus. Can't wait to see the locker room leader absolutely mash this pasty potato. <laughs> Don't disrespect my nigga Sheamus like that, calling him a pasty potato. Is this how I find out I'm going to face the champ? No, getting beat down by the champ. Okay, but any locker room leader who needs Cameron Grimes to do his talking for him is nothing more than a joke. If he wants to see me in the ring without even a conversation first, I'll happily show the world why he's too scared to put his title on the line. No one speaks for me, Seamus. And for that record, I was planning on having a conversation, but since I'm apparently such a joke, maybe we should get straight to the punchline. See you in the ring. My money's on the champ. I'm telling you, Grimes is purposely just hyping me up for this. It's straight gaslighting the whole time. I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how this man thinks it's gonna work out for him, but I don't think it's gonna work out for him, bro. <laughs> Let's see Seamus' entrance, and then we're going to skip my entrance. So like we said, we're, I'm going to see this five million times. A Celtic warrior always ready for a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the brawling brutes from Dublin, Ireland. If you guys hear hear, hear my clicking, I'm sorry. It's because like literally my mouse is like right next to my microphone. Yep, yep, yep. All right, that should be good. I had, a, I had to fix the game a little. I'm getting better at the streaming thing. I truly am. I'm getting better at all. Not the best at it, but I'm getting better. <laughs> I've always been a fan of Sheamus. I'm happy Sheamus is back in WB right now. We need some more bangers. I miss seeing some bangers. And from there him. he is, the man who's blazing <laughs> his trail through WWE. All right, get a quick shot, and let's go ahead, keep pushing. And here's
years, the superstars worked hard to get where they are today to reach the top of the division. Oh, yeah, and just look into their eyes. They do not plan on stepping down anytime soon. Focused and poised. If they play their cards right, guys, this match can be a declarative statement. And then we Come on, Sheamus. I'm here for that fight, bro. Sheamus. Nothing fancy about his in-ring style. Sheamus is all about oh, unleashing him. his ferocity on anyone who steps in the ring with him. He's Oof. not worried about his attacks looking pretty. He's concerned Alabama sure Slam is never pleasant. As as possible. Oh, I missed it. With Sheamus in the ring, we're in for a good old-fashioned Donnybrook. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. Uh, now I admit I would take off the, the, the reversals, the reversal prompts. He manages to but in this new game, I have noticed they have kind of adjusted where you do your reversals. They're in different spots than before, so I'm trying to get comfortable to them before I start turning them off the screen. Because I, I do want to take them off the screen. Especially if they keep going back to that knee. Roadhouse on the mark. on the counter. Not target of the arm. Nope. Take it easy, Sheamus. I mean, no. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. And Sheamus having the hell? I was trying to do my kick, my guy didn't do it. I will admit, I do like the fatigue, fatigue system. It makes the matches look a lot more realistic. I, I, I do like them. There we go. Get that yacht kick on him real fast. He's going to kick out. Sheamus don't go down that easy. All right, let's put a little bit more damage on the man. Able to reverse. Oh, he does damage from first. Nicely done. Return fire on the Celtic Warrior. Get some chops in here. Going through the arena. Sheamus denies the attack. The Celtic Warrior. Uh oh. Ooh, I got lucky on that timing, to be honest. Oh, he knew what was coming. And with this quick brain buster. Suplex attempt. Oh, no, no. Shannon's going to have Into a chop block. Connects the fist to the face. Great counter. Ooh, but a nice spine buster. Mm -mm -mm. Two. A kick out at two. Good Lord. Scarily. What you thought you were doing, Shannon's? Get this 808 real fast. All right, it's got to be done, daughter. This man gets up from this. Oh, he had a resiliency. Okay, that makes sense. Ooh, he reversed it. I was going to give him an 808 from the ground. I got a whip the snap before you, though. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Oh. Like I said, Sheamus is a tough opponent, though. Sometimes. Definitely not someone to say it's easy. Now I'm just I'm just throwing everything at him now. <laughs> he misses the target. Short flight, Ooh. but a rough landing. And Sheamus is countered. The fight is being taken to Sheamus. The power of Sheamus is being suppressed. Oh. So far, I do like this fight with Sheamus. So far, this is like the toughest battle of the day so far. Even though Tommaso did give me a run from him, Sheamus is definitely the toughest right now. Driven face first. Go ahead and get this gap kick in real quick. Oh, he reversed it. Right. I do like the fact that they did add in the fact that you can have Heads up to five signatures or five to finishers. Oh, stop. So it does it does help you have a lot of variety with your special moves. That, that and I feel like they, they had to have got that a little bit from Fire Pro because Fire Pro will let you add a bunch of moves of different signatures and finishers for your person. He 
counts down short of two. No time to waste being shocked. You've got to I would want to do a fire pro fire prom promoter on stream, but I know not a lot of people like to watch that. But I tr I honestly do enjoy it. It was definitely something I was enjoying a lot more before um, my GM shows up. But I will admit, I didn't spend that much time on my GM, so I can't really say. Ooh, okay. Of course, mine, so I thought of course, too. It's okay, so. Yeah, now, now it's getting real. Watch out, Daphne. He steps foot in the ring again. I swear I had hit him with like three face busters by now. Come on, could I splash do it? Can I, I slip a victory from that? Oh shit, I did. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I swear I'd be having some finishes in this in this game that like. They're supposed to be done with the signatures and finishers, but instead I just do them with normal moves. But I'll take that. <laughs> but yeah, Shame is definitely the toughest fight I've had in this game so far today. Inconceivable. How does this guy keep beating the odds? I don't believe it. It sound like he had money on his opponents or something. Start believing, Corey. Seamus can't be happy with this outcome. This is going to be eating at him for a while. Man, Corey, you better start believing, bro. I have been proving myself right now. I am literally one of the best. I'm taking out everybody. This, this come on now. There should be no doubt that Mr. Blake Franco is running the show. Everyone saw firsthand what happens when you cross Cameron Grimes, baby. The dark horse brings the pain. Not trying to bring the pain, just trying to leave. Is that what this fight was about, Grimes? Okay, now it's moving a little quick. Let's wait for it to finish. God damn. Okay, okay, let's let's get back up here. Is that what this fight was about, Grimes? 20 lousy dollars I owed you. I've been carrying around the cash for a week. I just haven't seen you. Next time you'll remember to make an effort or else I'll have to call in my enforcer, Mr. Blake Franco. Show me with some respect. I knew it. I fucking knew this guy was using me for something. Your enforcer? My enforcer? His enforcer? Our enforcer? Because you keep the locker room on the right track with your impressive leadership. I thought you were trying to create a harmonious locker room but it sounds like you were obstructing things to settle your own scores first with Corbin and now this my scores no we were a great team we've been keeping things running smooth for this first time the locker room is problem free no it's not and it's obvious who the real problem is not me all I want is peace all and all I want for you is in pieces See you in the ring next week. Come on, we can talk about this. Hello? Play Franco? <laughs> I'm about to whoop Grimes' ass. <laughs> it was exactly as I thought. Grimes trying to use me and I'm just going to end up whooping his ass at the end of it all. <laughs> all right, let's get Grimes out here so I can go ahead and put, put his head through the, through the mat. Yo, but Cameron Grimes in NXT, dope, fire. Cameron Grimes on the main roster. I kind of hate that he. That I feel like he hasn't been pushed correctly. Like, like, I know Grimes clearly looks like a mid-carter, but it's like, I feel like he, he could he could be a lot more than where he's at right now. So far, he hasn't been on TV in a while, so I don't know what they plan on really doing much with him. But I feel like Grimes could do a little bit more if they could pull out more of what he brought in NXT and bring it back onto TV. 
All right, so far I feel like this camera angle is working. I'm not really too worried about some of the text. To be so I, I feel like this is good. Not to be undervalued either. It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness. Damn right. But let's, but like usual, let's skip this and get straight to the fight. Tonight, the WWE Universal Champion is facing off against a tattletale with tall tales and Cameron Grimes. We'll find out if Stitches gets Stitches. Whatever happens in the ring, Cameron Grimes has it coming. You can't expect to play the locker room king like a pawn and get away with it. You do what you have to do. No matter what happens tonight, Grimes is already a winner in my book. I feel like Cameron Grimes is like the kid that oh, cried he wolf. Retaliates. But he actually deserves this ass beating rather than just being ignored. Right in the face. My God. And Grimes evades that. Come on, Grimes. Everybody else gave me more of a fight. You barely gave me anything here. Continuing to work on the arm with a vicious knee drop. Oh, look at the well placed elbow right on the mark. Nice counter Ooh, from Grimes. Okay, okay. Ridiculous. All right, come on over. I respect it. Some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. All right, Grimes is turning up now. Got out of that situation and avoids any harm. Flip him inside out. This match is brutality starting to I, I am thinking about it though. Like I know I have the Yakpik as my running move, but I'm kind of considering like I might use a clothesline from hell as like a signature move. That or like another finisher. Actually, I need to check and see. Did I use up all my slots? If I didn't use up my slots, I might put that clothesline from hell as one. All right, Grimes, we're going to go ahead and end this because you were sitting here wasting my time with your bullshit. Arm ringer for a Ooh, you got lucky. Okay. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee. His shoulders are down. He kicks out instantly. Not time to expect nah, bro, you got to be more than that to hurt the champ. All Grimes is doing is just tiring me out, which I respected. That's the best thing you can do. Wait, how do you catch me with that? Don't know where Grimes learned that, but it's a heck of a potent attack. Cameron Grimes. Oh, I thought I reversed that. Ooh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Grimes sent him to the moon. Kicks out. Kicks out. His opponent thought he had it in the bag for sure. Okay, Cameron Grimes got a sneaky one. I respect it. He almost got a sneaky one on him. Grimes finally short of the moon right there. Clearly thought that was going to go a different way. Take off. Nope. Ain't happening. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. Boom. Big time. Drop him real fast. There's two. Wards off the pit at two. Now you gotta think he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Elbow Come on, Grimes. Right on you almost had him. He's just getting beaten on all fronts here. Not what you want to see by any means. And that was a well executed attack. Now I'm just putting the hurting on him. Man, knee strike. Come on, get to that corner. Drunk kick in the face. And the pressure on Grimes continues to mount. Cameron's going to be reaching for the moonshine after the match if this keeps up. All right, let's finish this. Nice quality yacht kick. You get up from this, you're getting dropped on your head, Grimes. Good job. It's over. If he had got up, he wouldn't get he dropped on his head, bro. Here are the highlights. Let's take a quick look at this. I don't know these people. I don't know these people. I don't. I don't know these people. I don't know these people. I don't know. You, you know how like every time you're on one of those one of the apps like Instagram, they always want to try to tell you if you know somebody or try to see if you know somebody, and it's like I don't know this motherfucker. 
The dark horse is on a roll. Turn that down For now, fast. Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. I can tell you Grimes is not living his dream right now. A hard loss for Cameron Grimes, but Grimes has Man, that was an easy fight to beat down Cameron Grimes. He deserved it. Wasted my damn time, bro. All right, cool. Making sure I got some traffic on it. All right. Let's see what Grimes got to say after I whooped his ass for wasting my time. Nice. Okay, let's let's check social media. I know he had said something. All right, Grimes, they say none, but Corbin told me some. Thanks for taking care of Cameron Grimes. He's a real piece of work. We're all really lucky to have you around. Speaking of, I know of a few other guys causing some real trouble in the locker room. I'd be happy to send you a list. You saw what just happened to Grimes, right? Good point. <laughs> or what he said point taken either way same thing like bruh don't start this shit again <laughs> or i'm gonna start dropping you in your head again don't, let's let's not do this again <laughs> all right all right um let's get the running up i mean the running's already strong as it is but that's just for the optic alone but okay i believe we should have just one more let's look at the story progression yep we got one last side mission right here with Rose. And then after this one, we'll be on our road with Gunta. And I'm pretty confident we're probably going to be on this a little bit more. So I'm pretty sure we're going to continue after getting through Gunta. Oh my God. It's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse. <gasps> Can I have your autograph? Hell yeah. Hey, Geneva. What brings you to these parts? You finally ditching that indie promotion and hitting the big time? Never. TVD is my home. You know I love the blood, sweat, and tears of the indies. WWE is all gloss and glamour. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm never mad at anybody that wants to stick to the indies more than the mainstream. Sometimes the indies does bring out more of you as a wrestler than the mainstream, but that everybody is different. Seriously? I guess you've missed the last couple years of my run here. Jeez, relax. Somebody's lost their sense of humor since they worked for me. Sorry, I'm just a bit on edge with everything that's been going on. You know, if you want to get some extra work in to prepare for Gunther, we've got a TBD show coming up. And we just so happen to have an opening on the card. Eh, why not? If I say, honestly, if WWE is, is still, if, if WWE stay how it is and stay more open to indie stuff, Shit, even I would be somebody to be like, hell, why not? I'll, if, if Triple H and them are cool with it, I'll take a quick show in the It would be nice pass. to get some work in to prepare for Imperium. All right. I guess I can RSVP yes to TBD. What's the ETA? God damn it. That's the spirit. <laughs> I'll send you the details. It'll be good working with you again, Geneva. Nice, nice. Now we're about to work on the side mission that unlocks a lot of stuff. Okay, okay. This is going to be pretty interesting. I can't wait to see what comes out of it. Plus, we get to see old faces like Chosen and everything. Chosen, honestly, was one of my other favorites from, from the past My Rise. Arrogant, annoying, but very talented. Very talented. All but I do like this TBD arena. It's very cool looking. It's like a fancy version of the Hammerstein Ballroom for ECW. Uh, I, I gotta beat it. I gotta beat the face in of Cole Quinn again. I guess. I guess. But I do respect Cole Quinn has evolved over the over the years on my rise too. He hasn't stayed the same. He actually has some difference in him. But yeah, I definitely see today to be a good lengthy stream, you know, a little something I want to say around four or five Because like I'm really engaged in this my rise and I really want to get through this a lot Not to rush to anything, but just because like I really do like the stories that comes with my rise all the time And I feel like they've done well with adding a lot to this All right, 
that's enough to pull Quinn. Look, let's see who, let's see here. Is this a one-on-one -on -one or just a multi-man? Oh, it's okay. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Nice. So I get to beat Cole's face in again. <laughs> but look at that. Look at the champion. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look, I gotta be a little cocky when you're being the champ. It it comes with the territory. If you're not, then what's the what's the point? You know what I'm saying? Speaking of champs, I really want to see what they how Damian Priest is gonna do as the new world champion. I've been definitely a fan of Damian Priest. I'm definitely happy for him finally getting the title. And not only that, he got it in Seth Rollins fashion, winning it at WrestleMania. So that tells me off the rip. We're expecting a really good, interesting run with Damian Priest. And they left us on a cliffhanger, too, with the fact that, like, when Judgment Day attacked um, his opponent, their their opponent at the end of the night, and Damian Priest didn't join in. He actually looked bothered by it. So I think we're getting Babyface Priest very soon. God damn. I think it just kicked me in the face. Okay, okay. I guess I gotta stop talking about Priest then, because I guess Cole feels the type of way. You know what would be funny though? What if Cole Quinn is like an alternate version of Michael Cole being a wrestler? I know I'm reaching. I'm reaching, I know. But I'm just saying. It would be kind of funny. Because we already got a wrestler, wrestler Michael Cole. <laughs> Sadly, we ain't got the music, so I don't know who was trying to interfere just now, but, oh, I guess we're going to find out soon. Oh, shit, of course, Ludwig. Nope. I was ready for you, bitch. I don't know why he's trying to warm me up for Gunther. I thought Gunther was the confident champion. Can I just say the crate the cradle power driver is one of the most dangerous moves to hit somebody with. The power driver is already dangerous enough. The cradle effect is just a little touch onto it. Nope. You ain't catching me, bro. I'm catching you. And like that, Cole Quinn got taken out with a spine buster. I didn't even have to drop him with the 808. <laughs> that was a good match. But I already see Imperium had to try to do their bullshit early on. I, I see already. Like I said, I do like this arena. This arena looks really nice. But all right, let's see what we got following up from that. Get some water, because I know I'm chatting a lot. No matter how far you run, Mr. Blake Frankel, you will never escape Imperium's reach. Like I'm, Like I'm that worried about you guys. See what Rose gotta say. Now that's what I'm talking about. Top notch TV, the action. That was wrestling at its finest. As the person in the ring, I can assure you it most definitely was not. No need to be salty. This was a great night. You knew that was going to happen with Imperium, didn't you? You set me up. No. And frankly, I cannot believe after all we've been through, you could accuse me of something like that set you up me working with imperium no all right she sounds straightforward i'll give her the benefit now 
Did I think it was a possibility that Imperium could find out you were wrestling for TBD and show up? Yeah. Is that maybe part of the reason I asked you? Sure, but that's not the same thing as setting you up. Okay, yeah, she did set me up. You got a chance to get work in, and I got a chance to make some dough. So we both win. Did we? I'm starting to remember why I stopped working with you guys. Always looking to make an extra buck. Well, I mean, it's an indie company. You kind of got to. Yeah. Isn't that the whole point? It's a business. And business is going to be good after all the buzz around this. Glad I could help. <laughs> Me too. Rose is something special. <laughs> but at least I got a nice little warm up. Ah, chosen with the bullshit again. Big fan, Mr. Blake Franco. Seems like you're doing shows outside WB now. How about taking a trip to Japan? Incredible. Go God damn it. Not this again. This. Oh, I get to choose. Just FY FYI, I seriously doubt Gunther and Imperium are going to follow me around the globe to tag me in the middle of our shows. Who cares? We'll sell out if there's even a 1% chance of Imperium show up. F-O-M-O -O is real. Exactly. Just printing money. Mr. Billy Franco, I'll fly you out first class. Come on, Japan is waiting. Mexico is closer. What do you say? I kind of like that they're give, that they're trying to ask me if I want to go to either place. I don't mind. Both places are good, but you know, we'll, we'll have Alexa help me. Hey Alexa, set volume to 30%. Alexa, flip a coin. Heads, Japan, tails, Mexico. All right, Alexa saying heads, so we're going to Japan. Alexa, set volume to 3%. Bitch, I didn't say flip a coin. All right, can't, there, can't turn down a first class ticket to Japan. I'm in. Nice, see you here. Arigato. Dark Horse Rides East. <laughs> Shit, honestly, for any wrestler, going to Japan is never is never a bad thing. It's it's weird. It's always a good thing, really. Plus, I'm not gonna lie. If I honestly had the choice, I really would go to Japan first before I go to Mexico. I just wanted to flip a coin to make it fair. Look at this arena. This place is stacked, bro. I really I haven't checked it yet. Someone please let me know if anything. Are we now finally allowed to have the Japan Dome be somewhere where we can have um we can use them in um my universe? Cause I've always wanted to use this exact arena in my universe, but they always blocked it. I mean if not, then I it is what it is, but I would really hope so. I'm kinda mad there's no announcement. Not announcement. I would like an announcer to be here. But nice. Get a one-on-one -on -one match against Chosen. This is going to be a banger. I swear this, this arena looks so well put together, it's so filled. That's why I'm like, I really want to use this arena in, in my universe. Franco look, looking good under the lights of Japan. Like I said, normally I'll skip the entrance, but I have to see how it looks in the Japan Dome. I, I have to. Alright, let's get this match started. Oh shit, I thought I was gonna dodge his knee. Oops. 
Ooh, okay. I respect it. Chosen coming strong straight out the gate. Yo, but I, I know WB is definitely starting to take on the point of allowing the wrestlers to do more indie related stuff. Especially in things like Shayna Baszler being allowed to do blood sport. Fucking um I know Shinsuke been down in Japan a couple of times for, for some special shows, especially the great Muda one. I, I definitely hope WB continues this trend. Like they don't have to send the whole roster, just send one or two people that you know you're not using storyline wise. And just, you know, let them show out real fast. It's great business and honestly you know Triple H, he he wants to expand the business more. I mean, remember, we was we were supposed to get an NXT Japan and the NXT um UK. No, we had U NXT UK. It did well, but it didn't last long. But you know he's trying to get that NXT Japan, and it, it looked like it might happen with Ro Rossi, since now Rossi is coming out with the Mari Gold Champion. I mean, Mar Mari Gold promotion. You know, I have faith it might work out. I mean, shit. There's he already talked. He already talking with Triple H about like seeing if he can get Oscar and Kyrie Zayn to show up, which would be good. Good for partnership and good good for him to show out with his new arena. All right, chosen. I I let you get get started in the beginning. Oh, we back to this now. Okay, I've gotten better at this. There we go. I'm getting much better at this. Oh, okay. I missed that one. Doesn't matter. He's already beaten down. Get a little pose. I know I should get him up, but I, my fatigue is down. I gotta get that up real fast. Ooh, he got me. Got hit. Okay. Alright, I gotta be careful. I know Chosen is pretty tricky. Ooh, okay, okay. He's getting some offense on me. It's not enough, bro. Enough. Oh, he caught me. Okay, you're gonna hit me with my 808. Okay, I got you. I got you. I feel like I'm gonna start adding moves, move deep to mine soon. I mean, as y'all see, I don't really use like my paybacks too much, so I'm, I should add move deep. It wouldn't be a bad decision. Snapper. Get him with the knee shot. Quick drop kick. Get him in this corner. You no, know I haven't done one of these in a while. Oh, from the top. Ooh, that's a nice one. I respect it. Almost. Alright, let's end this though. Ref, come on, ref. There we go. Hit him with the yacht kick. And man down. Alright, so far I'm liking this indie tour. So far, I've been showing everybody I'm strong enough to take out everybody without having to use my finishers. But my signatures are definitely connected. Very nice, very nice. Now that's how a champion looks in the Japan Dome. I, I hope I still get a chance to go to Mexico. I still want to go to Mexico as well and do something with them. I hope it's not like a you only go to one place because you pick the one place.
get some water. Okay, that's fair. I respect it. They still give you everything, even though you didn't go everywhere. That's fine. Like I said, I know that that my rise they now allow you to play as people that you earn through my rise as well. I mean, facts my faction. So I do hope Chosen is a normal character I could go up against again. <laughs> Arigato, Dark Horse. You're welcome back anytime. No Gunther, but we sold out. I'm happy to help. Happy to help. <laughs> Geyser, the longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time goes where he pleases, Mr. Billy Franco. And right now, that is SmackDown. The Ring General will be waiting for you to return when you decide to stop running. Well, I guess it's a good thing for Gunther. I've done all the side missions, so now it's time to take on Gunther. Let's go ahead and raise one of these stats real fast, though. Oof. Oof. I swear it's either I'm burp, I either burp a lot or I yawn a lot. I don't know which one it is, but it's always both. All right, let's see what Troy punk ass is gonna have to tell me. Bold move, challenging the longest reigning intercontinental champion in WWE history. Turn this That's up a little for That's your fortune favors, Troy, the bold. I suppose we'll have to see about that. I'm hoping that means you have some good news for me. And Miz has agreed to my request for a match with Gunther. Oh, no, absolutely not. Miz giving you anything without strings? Could you even imagine? <laughs> True. No. But I didn't imagine having to deal with you at the airport either. Lucky day for everyone. Gunther could certainly be in the cards, but why rush into it when Miz has so many hand-picked opponents for you? Like Bronson Reed, who you'll be taking on in a non-title match next. You ready to head to the arena? Yeah, why not? I could war I could warm up real quick with Bronson Reed, and then I'll take care of him. This might be the first time you've ever given me good news, Troy. I can't wait to get Bronson in the ring. My goals reach no higher than the happiness of SmackDown's WWE Universal Champion. Liar. Undisputed. You left out a word there, buddy. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get started. We did all the side missions. Now we're on to our main mission. Now we're taking on Gunther. And we're going to see how this turns out. But I do reiterate, if you guys are enjoying this, please drop a follow. You know, chat it up with me. I like chatting with wrestling. I like I, I like speaking wrestling. Wrestling is one of my joys. And if you're watching this on YouTube, the VOD, you're watching the VOD on YouTube, drop a subscribe if you're liking the series. Drop a like if, you, if you're messing with the series, you know. Comment to me what's your favorite wrestler right now. You know, something random. Bronson Reed tips the scales at over 330 pounds, but is the agility of a man half his size? Though when that tsunami comes crashing down, you'll know you ain't facing a cruiserweight. Bronson Reed is indeed ready for war. I have a feeling we're just moments away from another jaw-dropping, pardon me, Stu, tsunami! Man, like I said, I'll give anything for WB to allow like people and content creators to to hear the WB music. But I find Galloping it so bullshit that history, it's like we can't. <laughs> the Dark Horse. And his opponent from Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 245 pounds, the undisputed. WWE yep. Universal Champion, yep. the Dark Horse, Mr. Blade Franco. There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think the Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? Right now, I want to play a vital role of putting my foot up of up, up Grimes' ass, but I can't. 
<laughs> I want to slap slap around Grimes. I want to slap You're around fucking Roy, but I, I can only do so much. Opportunity to his opponent tonight. A huge opportunity would be putting the title on the line. That's ridiculous, Corey. The champ has never backed down from a challenge because he's blinded by his ego, Cole. Sooner or later, that's going to catch up to him. Big close Ooh, okay, I, I tried. That close line was not a good idea. Stops the kick. One reversal after that kick another. Was... These two are reading each other's minds. Counters. Okay, maybe not. Could be back and forth. Bronson ain't staying down that easy. Kick out, and there's still a lot of game left here. Trying to break Ray down with that come maneuver. On, come He'll on, big man. Into the ring. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Ooh, there we go. Both wrists captured. And Ooh, and there goes Dion. <laughs> I'm not getting bored, but definitely uh, I need to need some some competition. Two count. He's not even close to being done yet. Reed is getting picked apart right now. Can Reed withstand this surge? Quality. Is it enough? Stops the count before it's I'm going for a lot of pins in this out, match. I don't know why. I'm trying to see if I can beat him in a fast fashion without having to do anything else. But I, I don't think that's going to happen. With an elbow to the gut. That gets reversed on Reed. Whip a snapper. Shouts out to Mikey Whipwreck. They've got their opponent's arm. Driving a knee into the arm. I will say, speaking of Mikey Whipwreck, one thing I've always been happy about is the fact that like Mikey Whipwreck is the first wrestler I've gotten to follow me on my Twitter. Like, I don't post up too much crazy stuff, but I do like the fact that man actually follows me on Twitter. <laughs> Take on the world right now. He reverses it. And set right into the corner. Paying it right back with a reversal. Oh. Hooked up here. Oh, get pumped up. Legs trapped. And a well executed move we just saw there. All right, Bronson. I got a yacht kick with your name on it. I'm mad little, I'm mad na little nature was just running around me like that. Like, did you really have to? I will say, it's pretty cool that like, this is probably one of the first years that they really tried to like put all the referees in the game. The mark. Setting up. Mm. You ain't hit me with that tsunami. Oh, I'm gonna hit you with an 808 though. Can Reed come back from that? Two count, kick out. I thought it was finished off okay. for sure. Okay. Man, oh I can't man. take him out with that. Resilience. Fair enough, fair enough. He's got to be running on instinct alone. And now the question runs in the mind. How am I going to be able to end this? Our bar locked in. Going right after the arm. All right, this ain't going to make him tap out, but it's a good thing to wear him down, though. Nothing wrong with wearing him down. Nothing wrong with wearing him down. Have been a grueling submission. Put it in a position now. Oh, shit. Down okay. Okay. And there's the cover. And a kick out at only one. If that won't beat him, I'm not sure anything will. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. This is going to be it. That running knee right between the shoulder blades. Oh, I'm going to hit him with the hard away. Walking the ropes. Delivering an elbow. For the win. Two. The champion with a big win here tonight. That was, that was, that was a big victory. Oh, man. Here we go. You asked for this, champ. Finally, I get Gunther. 
the dark horse called out the longest reigning intercontinental champion in history and the ring general is giving his answer all right what's up what's up am i getting my match right in the you can keep the intercontinental title i just want the match face and our so-called undisputed oh i guess i want to be double champ there ain't no wrong with that all right, so we might have a future double title match coming up. Because it is also for the fact that his reign is longer than my reign in the game. So that's pretty much another incentive for this match to happen. <laughs> Roman Reigns. Mr. Blade Franco fears Gunther. You see, you see his face when the IC champ got in the ring. Funniest thing I've ever seen. Man, I don't fear this man. What you talking about? I'm impressed, yeah, but I don't fear the motherfucker. <laughs> what Troy gotta tell me? Where the hell is he, Troy? Our general manager? He doesn't report to me. Zero interest in small talk, Troy. I want Gunther now. Do you? I mean, he was standing right in front of you and you didn't do anything about it. What are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything, champ. But it's all over social media. I was just reading a post from Roman Reigns that made you look like a joke. What is everybody expecting? What, was everybody expecting me just to slap the shit out of Gunther the second he got in the ring? We, we talked it out. I let him know straight up I want the match. He held up his title. What else did you want? All the more reason not to keep stalling. Except there is. Our intercontinental champion is very important to the future of SmackDown, and Miz is off making sure that his top superstar is happy. Uh, what now, Troy? What flaming hoop do I have to jump through for Miz to give me what both of us already want? Facts. You will be facing the ring general's top lieutenant, Ludwig Kaiser. If I didn't know any better, okay. I'd say Miz is doing the thing where he tries to wear me down before my next big match. Yeah. Miz would never. I'm out, Troy. I'll beat Kaiser. Then Miz had better give me Gunther so we can settle this once and for all. All right. I guess I got to beat up on, on Gunther's side, man. I got to take out his right-hand boy, Lukewood. Let me be clear. No, let us be clear. The WWE Universe knows Gunther is the one true champion. The undisputed Universal Champion merely labors in his shadow. You misunderstood the pecking order around here, Kaiser. Looking forward to show you that in the ring. I'll say this, look with Kaiser, I am truly interested. I am impressed by this guy. And I feel like this guy could be a top player if he broke off on his own. But weirdly enough, I do admit he works so perfectly as the right-hand man to Gunther. I don't want him to stay as the right-hand man only, but he, he he definitely showcased a good promise in the future of WB. The audacious mouthpiece of Imperium, Ludwig Kaiser. A man with over a decade of experience looking to continue his dominance in WWE. I will say it's kind of funny how his ears are just completely out there like not to try to shame or make fun of anybody but like god damn my niggas are my nigga ears are just out there <laughs> the is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring representing imperium from hamburg germany weighing in at 220 pounds ludwig kaiser Kaiser possesses impressive technical abilities, which he displays every time he competes. Undeniably refined in the ring is Ludwig Kaiser. He's so precise. He's kind of unnerving, too. Very cold and calculating. Unnerving? Calculating? Try entertaining? This man gives us a master class every time he competes. Man, Imperium has always been one of my favorite groups that WB had ever produced. Even when they first came together in NXT and then moved up to, to the main roster together, Imperium Kaiser has always been an impressive force. Prepared to defend the honor 
of the ring. And everybody the in the group is good. Gunther is one of the best beliefs. currently right now. Look at Kaiser look like he's up next to be one of the best. But I feel way. like they gotta figure out what they're gonna do with um Giovanni Vinci. I feel and like after after Vince McMahon tried to split him up the and then they put him back together, I feel like he got lost in the shuffle of them being split apart in a way. And his opponent from Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 245 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse, Mr. Blade Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. And just listen to that crowd. He's a universal champion who is quickly becoming universally beloved. More like universally overrated. The fans may adore him now, but let's see how long that love affair lasts. Graves, you can suck one. Stop it. <laughs> Stop the hate. You know I'm good. I know I haven't held up the belt yet in this go about, but I'm I'm trying to save it for the title matches because I, I held it up a lot during the last one. <laughs> I find it interesting that Gunther was so quick to confront the champ last week, but now he sends out his flunky to do the fighting for him. That's why he's the ring general and you're not, Saxton. It's called strategy. Gunther has already seemed to have the Okay, Ky Kaiser's giving me a fight off of it. Okay, okay. Champion is fighting for a chance to face the Intercontinental Champion, which is the opposite of how it usually works. He's one step ahead there. Yeah, you know, He's you know. burying elbows in the midsection. Let's, let's cool this down, Kaiser. I ain't letting you get on a roll here. Oh, and a Trying to show you what Gunther's going to run into in the future. Oh, Kaiser holding him at bay. Side headlock applied. Oh, and okay, a right okay. hand for good measure. He paid for that one. All right, seriously, oh, ref, get out the shot. I almost missed that one. To the chest. Oh, the old whipper snapper. Both wrists captured, and oh, and Kaiser didn't find a counter for that. Oh, just turn that around. Both competitors nope. showing how well they know one another. Here it comes. Oh no! Nice running power slam. I mean, I'm sorry. With one message in mind. Make sure we get this correct. Uh, watch the speed. It's blitz of strikes. Down you go. Oh. I do admit, I am trying to add more oh, variety to these matches. But I know you. I know. I've, I know you guys have seen the same combination of moves from me. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, come on. Attack to the midsection. Just pinning the arm down and then dropping the knee for more punishment. Oh, this is just too far. All right, get some control just in there. Oh, no, it is the aggression. Just I got, I got get out. Easy. <laughs> Boom. Just lighten up the chest. He's in a little bit of trouble now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder. Come on, Kaiser. Supposed to weaken me for Gunther here. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Ah, oh, Kaiser holding him at bay. Look at this, going counter for counter. Oh, he's, he's trying to try and take me out. Come on, bro. Let's get back in the spot. Uh, gets put into the barricade. Oh. Let's get that knee shot that I want real fast. Boom. <laughs> I'll meet you in the ring. And returning to the ring. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Have to head back into the ring now. Come on, Kaiser. Yeah, counts running out. Show me how tough you are, Kaiser. Better run in here. He beats the counter. This one continues. Yeah. Ooh, okay, okay. Goes for the win. An easy I like it. I like it. Not Show me that fight. On the pin. Oh, elbow right to the bread basket for the troubles. Come on, Kaiser. Show me the fight. No, stop 
makes the count at two. Okay, Getting that okay. shoulder up now is huge. All right, I hope Gunther's watching. I'm going to show him what's going to happen to him. Hoisting their opponent up for a fist. With a nice 808 from the ground. Can that keep Kaiser down? Two. The champ has proven himself. Oh, of course y'all got to jump. Why wouldn't he? Did he really think the ring general wouldn't have a plan? This was a trap all along. For a man that's not afraid of me, he sure shows he is. one for Gunther. Okay, so I beat Kaiser and then I get rolled on. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Miz punk ass. All hell Gunther, the era of the Dark Horse champion has ended and the must-see Age of Imperium has begun on SmackDown. Every time you count me out, you end up eating the numbers as soon as they're out of your mouth, Miz, the era is far from over, bro. But I like that though. I like I like Imperium showing me how much they're afraid of the fact that they know I can beat them. Oh, you look like you've been in a car accident, champ. <laughs> Miz wanted me to extend his deepest sympathies. Get fucked. That's not exactly how he phrased it on social media. I can't believe the flowers haven't arrived already. Uh, I'll have to put in a call. I just got the hell beaten out of me, Troy, in another one of Miz's traps. You sure you want to be doing this right now? No, no, I am not. Gunther and his lackeys jumped me. I want to show them why I'm the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, up close and personal. Then you'll be happy to know that Miz has given you exactly what you want. You'll get your wish when you face Imperium next week in a gauntlet match. Why you gotta be a gauntlet? You know what, better yet, I actually been looking forward to this. I've been waiting to see when y'all was gonna give me a gauntlet match. I'm, I'm all right, let's do this, let's do this. I'm, I've been looking forward to this. I'm gonna beat Kaiser's ass, I'm gonna beat Vinny's ass, and, and then I'm gonna beat Gunther's ass. The undisputed WB Universal Champion Blade Franco finally gets what he wants. Imperium in a gauntlet match on SmackDown. Imperium goes down one member at a time. He's he's not stopping me. He's not going to take this from me. You hear me? You, do you hear me? Do you hear me? He's not taking this from me. Put that right there so you guys can see. The following contest is a gauntlet turmoil match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two superstars will start in the ring. When one superstar is eliminated, a new superstar enters. Look, we know how a gauntlet match get down. I'm actually happy they added it, and that just shows the it's an actual WWE mode in WWE here. Universal I like it, so let's do this. Well, let's just hear that announcement real fast and then we'll just skip on to it. Weighing in at 245 pounds. Yep. The undisputed yep. WWE yep. Universal yep. Champion. There we go. Mr. Blade Franco. What's the strategy taking on Imperium in a gauntlet match? Beat them all one by uh, one. Do it? <laughs> Seriously, this is a terrible idea. It's not too late to back out, champ. Oh, no. See, I have a clear idea of how to do it. I have an idea of how to do it just by beating them down. And I have an idea of doing it if I want to do it very fast. So trust me, I, I, I'm getting through this gauntlet match one or the other. It won't matter. All right, who am I getting first? Am I getting Vici or am I getting Kaiser? Who am I getting Here first? Comes the smug face. Imperium. All right, I'm getting Vici first. Representing Imperium from South Tyrol, Italy, weighing in at 220 pounds, Giovanni Vinci. Yo, Vinci is a great. He got the best camera angles in the ego. game. I don't care what no ability. one says. They gave no this ego. man the best looking Vinci entrance with the best camera Chisels angles, bro. And it all came marble. from his one small run being Dolo. I will say though, 
when he was by himself, I didn't think he was bad. I just thought they didn't get a chance to really express much of what he can do. Because let's be real, the man just fits Imperium. He has to be with Imperium most times. But I do believe he could have did some work dolo though. He could have did some something interesting. But look at this, look at this smugness on the camera, Sanders. <laughs> Maintaining the sanctity of the mat on his own classy terms. I've seen what he'll do to win. It's not classy or sacred. Alright, let's, let's get tonight. through this gauntlet the match. The WWE Universal Champion gets his hands on Imperium one by one. You say that like it's good for the champ, Saxton. How much of him do you think is going to be left by the time he gets to Gunther? Oh, when Gunther gets in, I don't one care one if I'm court. fully beaten That's down. Gunther's getting his ass whipped. I don't care. Ooh. Look at a hurt him. Oh my god, shoulder breaker. That could cause long-term damage. Brain buster. Landing like that can do some lasting damage to the spine. Ooh. And the chiropractor has Come a on, Gio. Do saw. something. You better do something here. Because if not, I'm just gonna run through right you, bro. With the reversal. To connect on the springboard chop and Vinci turning it around, gets him with the counter. Oh, and a wicked clothesline! Well, now it's roll up. Okay, okay, trying to go for that possum. I respect it. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Elbow puts an end to that. Oh, I missed him real reversal, quick. I was going to hand him the optic. That was on me. Turns it around. Soul the foot meets the stomach. What the hell? Come on, game. Stop playing with me. Let me hit my optic on him. Okay, end this out real fast. And now Giovanni is thriving off the audience. Look at this. Snap suplex. And Giovanni's resolve might be way that time for what, and though, bro? Not showing any capacity what? to fight back. And he gets set back into the ring. Get up. Get up. Caught with the boot. And he goes for the pin. That yop kick straight to the jaw. Oh, he kicked out. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Ooh. It's a good thing you reversed. I was going to tap you out in two IQ seconds, bro. There. to pull off a move with that much weight behind it and that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver Ooh, okay okay i expected some body part to be to be yellow by this time and vinci gets that set right back to it reversal after reversal proving they did their homework oh, man, okay okay whoa not quite yet from behind into the tournament Get What's turned up. Next? Hold up. That nice turn and neck breaker. Cover. Two. Almost. Two and a half. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, I gotta be careful now. We got a finisher, and the last thing I want to do is hit me with a finisher. Elbow drop right. I'm not saying it's going to beat me, but I don't want to get wear down way too much. Oh, driving the elbow. See, now I'm just disrespectful, man. Okay, he around. must know I want to play that submission so bad. Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. Okay, roll out, roll out. Roll out. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming mm -hmm. at him. Springboard. All that springboard and just to hurt yourself. Now, that was a harebrained idea to try that. Was trying to find a way to attack, Ooh. but completely wiped out. Oh, oh come on! Trying Hate the animation made me do that. To stand. Uh. 
Vinci. Okay, okay. Vinci stamping an end to this. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm getting Talk through this gauntlet. Now. Yeah, but did you see how the referee had to get into position? That was all the difference. I've lost count of how many times this match should have ended by now. He's got the answer for that one. Got him in his grasp. Oh, what a flex. Get up. Oh, Quick come on. By Vinci. All right, I respect Ben. Vinci is... He's definitely giving me a fight right now. I didn't expect this, but he's really giving me a fight. Way better than Kaiser. Okay, come on. We got to end out Vinci here. This match is already going on way longer than... Well, this this part of the match is going on way longer than needed. I think the crowd knows what we're about to see. And just oh, was down. Vinci's down, and he might be out. There's two. He's out. He's All right, bring in Kaiser. I'm a little beaten down, but I ain't gonna entrance. stop me. Still another challenger. Next into the gauntlet is Ludwig Kaiser. I never seen this before. Why did Why did they bring him out number wise as if it's like the Royal Rumble? Just look at the WWE Universal Champion. Matt, I can't do anything. I would, I, can't, I would have ran at him by now. Of course he's hurting. Vinci wasn't in that first match to win. He was looking to hurt the champ. And what do you think Ludwig Kaiser is going to do in Come this match? Come on, that's match? twice I've you upside down. Never break. count the WWE Universal Champion out, Corey. Release German. Yikes. Come on, Kaiser. Warm me up, bro. Hooked up here. Legs trapped. Vicious right forearm. Get him over, show him that core strength. Yeah, buddy. No way. What a combination of brain buster. No doubt Ludwig is having trouble here. Kaiser is getting worked on. Ludwig is getting knocked. He fucking. Counter. And now there's an opening. Reciprocating the initial reversal. And a big ass yacht pick to his face. He gets the shoulder up at two. Oh, that's fine. That's you have fine. to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. He moved, but can he capitalize? Springboard misses the target. Oh, come on, game. You're fucking with me now. All right. Sorry. I already got him more beaten down than I am, so that, that that's all that matters right now. Wrenching the arm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Driven all the way down for a That's fine, I can take a little arm damage. Continuing to dissect the leg of his opponent. Oof. Trying to, trying to wear down the kicks, I get it. Ah, oh, face okay, first okay. off the post. I respect it. On the outside, Kaiser's trying to do everything he can. I respect it. Ludwig Kaiser is sending a clear message here. That message was strong think, enough, though. Oh, yeah. Kaiser is bleeding. Come on, Kaiser. Come on. Oh, no. Now Kaiser is setting up for a submission maneuver. Impressive display of power. Tap out. Do it now. Ooh, I was going to try to get early to the belt. Fine, it's fine. Nope. To hit the mark. This is just brute power. Oh my goodness, absolute dominance. Oh, Can I put him in it? Yep, put the man in silence. To do here? Oh my god, superhuman power. After everything, he had nowhere to go. He had to give up. All right, I got through two of them. Give me Gunther. Where Dragonoff come from? I was wondering why I saw Dragonoff sign, but where did Dragonoff come from? He's not a part of Perion. Don't tell me this is an ultimate alternate story where he's a part of Perion. I can't see that though. I honestly can't. 
What's going on here? Has Ilya Dragunov joined Imperium? He's at least stepped in to replace Gunther tonight in what I assume is an attempt to throw the Dark Horse off his game. What better man to recruit? I will admit, I'm a little worried. <laughs> Dragunov is not somebody I was prepared for. But we're going to do what we got to do. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. That's still so weird, though. It, it just doesn't seem right because Dragunov was the one who beat him in, in, in the UK. So it's like, I just don't see him joining Imperium making sense. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. All right, I gotta be careful though. I am at red. What a close line! Okay, he caught me with the fakie. Caught me with the fakie. Off into the pin. Immediately powers out. I suppose you have to take the shot, but it's still too early to wrap up this one just yet. Got the leg. Right, as much as I want to start taking him out, we have to get low early. It's a low early. I kind of felt like there was a hint that Dragunov was going to be in this match because I did see a Dragunov sign on the outside, but I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna like say nothing about it. But bro, I am I'm turned up right now. You came, you came at a wrong time to help Imperium. Very wrong time. Talk about cocky, gloating after placing the knee on the back of the neck, and he barely evades. Hit him with the yacht kick. Come on. Just gets the shoulder up, able to squeeze that. He's about to. I saw it. He was about to go for some. But I was quicker. Hit him with that 808. Come on, I know the man got a resiliency. I thought he did. Okay, never mind. And of course. Of course, again. Man, Gunther fears me, bro. Because that's twice already that I've gone through a, a matchup and this man just attacks me. But it does make more sense too and why the hell did all of a sudden Dragonoff was the third person for me to go through. But nevertheless, I'm I'm very happy with that gauntlet match and I'm happy that it seemed like the gauntlet match is more of a normal thing. I mean I believe that it was in the game before, but it looks a little more better now. Alright. After barely surviving a gauntlet match with Imperium, Gunther laid out the undisputed WWE Universal Champion Blade Franco in a display of ruthless aggression. The ring general wishes to thank his finest opponent, Ilya Dragunov, for punishing Mr. Blade Franco. I'll be real, and this, and this is not to discredit Dragunov at all, in that gauntlet match, Dragunov was actually the easiest person for me to get through compared to everybody, which I'm amazed about. <laughs> so for him to say that is kind of crazy. Because to be honest, the person that put the real most damage on me was the first person beat Vinny, Vici. Gio really put more damage on me than everybody else in that match. But I showed it wasn't going to happen, bro. It wasn't going to stop me. And to any of those that still question me, look at that. It says legend. I'm not bullshitting when I say that. I just got a message from WWE.com. They ran a poll, and the majority of the WWE universe thinks that it's Gunther's time to rise. Yeah. Maybe the WWE universe didn't see me take out two-thirds of Imperium in their hired gun. Or maybe it's that the Age of Imperium has such a nice ring to it. Epic. What do they even call your run, huh? All this time as WWE Universal Champion, has anyone ever actually said it's your era? They don't have to say it. 
they know. Facts. Well, good news. After that gauntlet match, Miz decided that this rivalry has had the proper buildup. So you'll be defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Gunther at Night of Champions in a no disqualification match. Just like you wanted. I'm mad there's no disqualification because you know some bullshit, but at least I get my match with Gunther nonetheless. Stacking the deck against me. Must be Friday. All right. I don't know why I'm just yawn three times in like under two minutes, but whatever. I'm not even tired, but I can tell the energy drink is dying down a little bit. But either way, we in here. Contrary to dirt sheet rumors, Gunther will not be defending the Intercontinental Championship. Only the undisputed WB Universal Championship will be on the line at Night of Champions. You lose your confidence, Miz? Sure does sound like you're scared I'm going to walk away with all the gold. I'm kind of pissed about that too. I, I would love to be a double champion for a second time in a row, but I, I guess he's, he's too afraid to let me walk around with both belts. But it's all right. I'm going to get through Gunther and I'm going to continue my path as the greatest WWE Universal Champion. I'm sorry, undisputed WWE Universal Champion. I got to get that right, you know what I'm saying? All right, time to hold up this belt. I was already double champion before with that NXT belt back there. Let's see if I let's see if I can screw to him why I should be a double champion tonight. Yeah, but the Night of Champions arena, it looks really the nice. Challenger is a great champion. And he of course he comes out with his boys. Why wouldn't he? There's gonna be a lot of distractions tonight. A lot of distractions. It's very interesting how he comes out with his boys just for this match, but it, it's clear, like they said, they're going to stack the, de the deck against me because you can't stop me. Look at the focus on the face of the longest reigning intercontinental champion in WWE history. Listen to the hush in the crowd, Cole. The WWE Universe knows tonight belongs to the ring general. As he believes. This night will be mine. I will retain this belt. I will continue the journey of the Dark Horse. You are looking at the next undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Don't get me wrong, though. I truly do want to see Gunther as WWE Champion. I feel like we are going to get that soon. If he's not the World Heavyweight Champion, he's going to be WWE Champion. The Universal Champion walks into the storm alone. Sometimes I do kind of wish that like they let my guy make some friends around around so that way, you know, I can have somebody with me going up against Gunther. Like, where's Finn at? I would love for Finn to be around. The you know, Dark I would like to get some help from Judgment Day. Time and time again. Are you telling the WWE Universe or telling yourself? I can hear it in your voice, Saxton. You know the undisputed champ's whole house of cards comes crashing down tonight. I don't think so, Corey, you hating ass bitch. Look at my backside, Gunther. That's all you want to see. All right, let's get these announcements on so I can beat Gunther's ass.
Introducing the challenger from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gunther! I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting a scenario like this for Gunther. I was expecting it in a real life scenario, but we didn't get that. Let's do this. Put my belt down real That's fast. What it's all about. The Look at it, it looks so pretty. This ain't WWE leaving me. This ain't leaving my side. Championship. The WWE Universe knows all about the history, the lineage, everything that goes into the importance of this match. I'm calling it now. Tonight is finally the night when we see this fraud of a WWE Universal Championship run come to an end. The champ has stood up against Every challenge that has come his way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You both sound like broken records protecting this guy. History has proven that the dark horse can overcome. Corey, I'm already beating up on your guy. His head's already orange. Come on now, Corey. He's red. The man's red. No way. Cross body. Whoa. That was coming. I'm the champion. I'm attacking him like I'm a challenger. Fast and living dangerously. Thrown back in under the ropes. Face Come on now. This Gunner man is, is the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion. Has to create an opportunity to and I am giving him the fight of his life. This is why Miz was scared to put the title on for you, bro. Because he knows this is going to happen. How you got all that help on the outside? I'm just running through you right now. Oh shit! Okay, that was a nice drop kick. I wasn't expecting that. He must have seen that coming. A Gunther chop is never something you good to take. And he heads out of the ring. No countouts. No worries. Oh yeah, I'll let you get a weapon. Come on in. Bring the chair in. Oh shit! Oh my god. Okay. Probably I shouldn't have let him do that. They're just toying with their opponent right now, having fun at their word, Gunther. Just mocking their opponent right now. Total disrespect. Yeah, I didn't know he had that part of his arsenal though. That's actually pretty cool. I might, I might throw that into mines to be real. Oh, Come on, Gunther. You had a nice little run. I let you get a little comeback. But you ain't stopping me, bro. He's tearing the crowd's energy. You could bl you could blame Leakwood for that. He the one that took off the turnbuckle. Early kick out. Referee right on top of the action. I think this ref might be a little slow on the count. He's doing some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. Oh, come on. Stop with this. No, not the distraction bullshit. I hate when this oh, happens. Man, he has oh, no. Fired up now. Ah. Got out of that position with the desperation. Sucker. Come on, fucker. Almost took him out already. In this. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Oh, I got an 808 for you. Straight from the ground. Yeah, use that resiliency. Use the that shit. Shock is palpable. The champ will have to dig deeper now. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes or the fact that he hasn't finished this or if it's disbelief. Now, when he said the champ's going to dig deeper, he, he must meant Gunther. Because he ain't talking to me. And he goes into the ring. Oh, come on now. That's double the point. That's double the distraction. Here. Come on. Oh, really? How long is the animation going to go? Like this? And back in the ring we go. Gunther 
Ooh. I respect that he reversed, reversed the, the, the twisted. I saw him with the twisted reflection for a second. Gunther can't find a foothold in this match. Every form of offense Gunther attempts is being neutralized. Gunther sidestepped that one. Oh, oh shit. That sounded rough. Okay, I wasn't ready. I'm ready now. I'm ready now. I've gotten better at this. Oh, okay, I missed that one. That was on me. Shit. Okay, I really gotta learn to keep holding it longer when I need to. Okay, okay, I'm actually happy he's gonna stick to the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use that shit, use that shit. All right, now I gotta be careful because this, this is gonna be messy. Wow, they didn't even give me a reversal for that one. Crushing offense we've come to expect from Gunther. This is going to come down to who wants to. Alright, Gun Gunther made a little comeback. He Heads made a little comeback in quick next? time. I'll give him that. Oh boy. He's he's gonna get hurt when I get back up, bro. Oh. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Come on. Come on, bro. Meet me in the ring. Giving him an extra shot of adrenaline. He's taking this to the floor now. Ooh, you could thank the ref for that one. The ref saved you from the yacht pit just now. Yo, I swear to God, the ref interferes more than the managers in these matches. I swear he does. That's the, that's like the third time I could have took somebody out by now, but the ref wanted to be in the way. Kaiser yelling at the cameraman. This stays with me, Gunther. This, see, that's why Miz know not to put your title on the line, bro. If Miz put your title on the line too, I would be double champion. You're lucky I don't have an intercontinental belt here. That would have been even more of a show off, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Here is it's your fine. Yup. 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 Mr. Blade Franco. How can this keep happening? How does the WWE Universal Champion keep surviving impossible odds? He Not just beat the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion in WWE he can history. From me. And he is on his way to another record now, Corey. Roman's record. Oh, I'm going to conquer Roman's record. It's only a matter of time. I'm just waiting for Roman to try to come stop me rather than talking shit on social media. But I proved I am better than the ring general. Now to see how do I continue this reign. All right, so it just said I'm at 1,078 days. Our next guest, let's set the stage. Cody Rhodes is still the World Heavyweight Champion on Raw, providing some stability after a tumultuous period that saw several champions come and go. I don't understand why we do these recaps. Our audience watches the product. Nonetheless, I'll play ball. On SmackDown, after continuing to dominate, the Can Dark I say these two look really good model the wise in the game. Now holding the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for three plus years. Three years, baby. Didn't Miz and Roman Reigns think the champion stint would only last three days? And now he's approaching Roman's record-setting run. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why don't we ask Miz about that misguided prediction right now? Please welcome our guests, the SmackDown and Raw general managers, The Miz and William Regal. Regal, 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 Regal. I take Regal. offense to the accusation that I ever doubted my champion. You doubted me from I the beginning, bitch. Horse. And in this case, I was behind the dark horse since day one. Liar. <laughs> That's rubbish. You never wanted him to be champion. And you've done everything in your power to try to put an end to his reign. Don't insult the audience, Mike. They watch the product. That's what I've been saying. You want to do this, Regal? At least I have a cohesive show. No one can keep track of what's going on on Raw. It's like a freaking middle school play. 
Guys, come on. How do you even know what's happening on your show? You're too busy off filming episodes of your terrible reality show that I no like one watches. I like the managers watches. are coming at each other. You just think you're better than me because you've made a living on the myth that you're some kind of technical wrestling genius. He is. Well, <laughs> I'm here to tell you, no one who matters cares. I agree with some of what you said. I am better than you. That's why they made me the general manager of the A Show. Okay, maybe we take a break, yeah? No, we're not finished here. Don't you yell at my girl like that. A show? Yes, I do. But we can officially answer that question in the ring at Survivor Series. War Games. Ooh, I love in the game we get War Games Fine. from Regal. SmackDown will see you and beat you at War Games. You're pathetic. We'll see who's pathetic. Mate. Okay, let's get to that break. Yo, I like the managers. Was, I mean, the general managers was about to beef each other. All right, so as you see, I'm now at 1,078 days. I'm creeping on the record. I'm creeping on it, baby. <laughs> All right, let me set this back down here. I, I do like this spot. This spot is a good spot. Uh, a little bit lower real quick. There we go. All right. Breaking. As heard on the bump, it will be Raw vs. SmackDown at Survivor Series in War Games. WWE Raw GM William Regal has wasted no time in announcing his team of champions, Captain and WWE World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes, US Champion AJ Styles, and his club members Raw Tag Champs Machine Gun and big lg i like that i actually like that uh, we got a universe to where it's like i could fuck with all those champions if that was a real lineup cody rhodes as the world champion which he currently is even though it's the wb title i'm still i like the wb title better by the way u.s champion aj styles which aj always is a good champion you can never go wrong with that and then having his club members carl anderson and Luke Gallows as tag champs, I, I could rock with that. I, I could rock with that as a lineup. That's quite a squad, if you if I do say so myself. Balls in your court, Miz. I'm kind of interested to see how Miz is going to do, because me and Miz don't like each other, so I'm, I'm really going to be interested to see how we're going to progress as a team. Ooh, Regal sent me a message. Good heavens, my boy. What a victory. The ring general received a demotion. He's a bad dude. My chest feels like raw hamburger. No doubt he'll be back for more. I'm quite certain. It is interesting though. You've come within striking distance of cleaning out SmackDown's locker room. It would be interesting if you if your horizons were to expand. I would like that. Come over to Raw and you know take out the Raw locker room with my reign. I mean. Who else does SmackDown got? I don't really see no one else from SmackDown currently coming at me at this point. I pretty much took it out everybody. If the mid card comes at me, there's just going to be quick work. So it's, it, it does bring a does bring a good question. It does bring a good question. But all right, now I'm going to guess Miz is either going to pick the people for me, or Miz is going to let me pick the people I want. So we'll, we'll see what Miz wants to do here. How much points do I have? All right, I have 32. Okay, um, grappling's all the way up. Uh, hmm, what else do I want to put up? Uh, uh, submissions. Let's, let's put my submissions up a little bit. Like, honestly, I'm at the point to where it doesn't matter where my settings are. I'm already dominant as it is. At this point, setting, making my settings for my attributes is really just more of like a little side piece for myself right now. But all right. What you got to say, miss? Because it's going to be interesting. I am absolutely done with that overrated, blubbering British buffoon Regal. He thinks Raw is better than SmackDown? Well, at War Games... The blue brand will reign supreme, especially with you as our team captain leading the way. Hold on. 
Did you just name me SmackDown's team captain? Yeah, why wouldn't I? You're our champion. You've had the title on lockdown for years now. Yeah, despite everything you've done to try to take it from me. I mean, I assumed you were going to pick anyone but me. Where is this coming from? You sound like Regal. <laughs> I've been Team Dark Horse since the beginning. Where is Miz coming with this bullshit? I'm shocked you think I feel that way. <laughs> Whatever, Miz. Who else do you have to round out our side? I got your old BFF Finn Balor on board. You're welcome. And even better, I'm going to let you choose okay, your other nice, two teammates. Nice. See? Told you I'm on your side. I still find that hard to believe. So Finn and two other partners of my choice. I'll see what I can come up with. Great. Make sure you choose carefully, though. Since Raw has all champions and an established faction making up three quarters of their team. But no pressure. You got this. I mean, if we want to play factions against each other, I could see, since my boy Finn is on the squad, maybe Judgment Day wants to join up. I mean, I haven't seen Damian Priest. I don't know what he's doing. And you know, Dominic Mysterio is not really the best person to have on your side all the time, but having the team chemistry there would still make it something. Like I said, I said it earlier, I would not mind doing something with Judgment Day. And I'm already with one person from Judgment Day, so who knows? Let's see. Hey champ, heard, heard you're captaining the SmackDown ship. Just wanted to say I can't wait to get inside those cages and show Team Raw who runs things right now just need to find some backup i thought it'd be fun if you if it was just me and you taking them on but if you say so <laughs> finn i love your spirit but we have to, we have to get more people unfortunately <laughs> oh i did have this thought in my head randomly one day of like it would have been cool if like the shield in their prime was to go into a, a war games and go in like three against four or three against five that 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 would have been cool because you know they would have loved running through them all okay what they say in here the ally selection screen is now available within the hud finn balor is already locked in as one of your war games teammates you'll need to recruit two other teammates from the smackdown roster by taking by being my taking by talking to superstars in person and on social media the more ally recruiting stories you play will allow you to access higher profiles, superstars, and legends. Recruit the two ally allies who you think will make the best overall war games team. You will have some special allies available based on pivot decisions you made previously in the story, as well as some might be locked out based off of those same decisions. Some allies will join your war games team more willingly while others will need you to successfully win a match or brawl to get them to join your side. After completing an ally recruiting story, be sure to check the ally screen al along with your social media and DMs to see if you've earned a new ally or not. I like that. Honestly, I like that. I remember them having this before, but it sounds a little bit more cleaned up now. Once you have two allies who, who want to join your war games team, select them in the ally selections and then go talk to Troy to advance the main story. All right. Nice. Ooh, so we got Kevin Owens, Grayson Waller. Kevin Owens is already a choice I like. Grayson Waller, I don't like. No offense. All right. So, so far we got some names here. We got Grayson Waller, who's probably going to make me jump through some ropes. LA Knight, yeah. Austin Theory. He's gonna make me jump through the swim ropes. I see a 90 here. I see a 90 here. And then we got Kevin Owens. Alright, so we got a couple other people that we gotta like venture to see, but of course, it looks like we got some good names already willing to almost. I'm not gonna lie, if I had to pick out of the four that's already here. I would just pick LA Knight and Kevin Owens, but we'll be fair and see, you know, who's down to run with Team Dark Horse. Everyone knows you can't have a War Games match without without God's gift to SmackDown, LA Knight. Yeah. Hey champ, just want to let you know I bleed blue and I'll be honest, honored to join Team SmackDown. 
Okay, so here's what I want to do for these side missions. I'm willing to play everybody's select setup just to unlock more people and see from there who we got. I do wonder who are the people that are locked out for me. I do kind of wonder that, but I'm pretty sure they probably might not tell me. But I am planning on running the My Rise once again down the future. So we will be able to see those other choices in the future. So, you know, let's start off with LA Knight. I didn't know that. Is this true, LA Knight? Uh, yeah. And if you're too much of a dummy to know this already, then give me five minutes in the ring to show you exactly what I mean. Okay, let's spar. I think I can spare five minutes, but you might be the one who ends up looking like a dummy. Yeah. <laughs> I like how they're just blatantly just throwing out the yes more and more. Bianca Belair, 419 days. I wouldn't move it, but in, I'm just going to tell you all. It says, it says 419 days. That's a good number, honestly, to be to be women's champ. It's time to get out of the way. The fastest rising star is in the building. And we're about to see whose game it is. The all right, all right. It's scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, there. California, weighing in at 241 pounds. LA game is Definitely yeah. set to make an impact in WWE. Delicious. This guy I, has I love the crowd joining him on. Like, but I'll give credit where it's due. When you're as good as L.A. Knight, you shine bright naturally. All right. Let's take on L.A. Knight in a quick matchup. It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness. And his opponent from Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 245 pounds. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse, Mr. Blade Franco. Well, the way this guy Never stumbled tired into of such good that. luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more you have to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. Corey, what else do you need me to prove? I've literally beaten down so much people that I'm at the point to where they know they need to throw me on Raw because that's where more opponents are waiting for me. What else do I got to do, Brett? requested five minutes here tonight to show the SmackDown War Games team captain just what he's capable of. I think it's a great oh, idea. I got a challenge. I got to be in five minutes. Are be throwing haymakers trying to get a fast I've been doing pretty good at that already, so I don't think that's going to be too hard. To get I'm not saying like LA sucks, but I don't think it's going to be too hard. My God. And there was some force on that move. Great defense by Knight. Oh, what a close line. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I need to relax. He must have had that scouting. Ooh, Big good kick, good kick. The arm getting pummeled. Now that'll do some serious damage. Hits him with the counter. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. See, LA, this is why you would be a good choice onto the team. Another reversal. Give me a nice fight. Seeing an answer for every move I will say, Slim Mace got that ball for so long. Really trying to get me stunned here. Oh, man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. This match grinding him down a little. Oh. Look out. There we go. Slingshot cross body. That was ridiculous. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. All right, That's we're what down to three and a half minutes here. 
Oh! Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. L.A. Knight's hopes are waiting. L.A. has run into a roadblock. Ooh! Bang! Oh! Ooh, I'm happy they let that go off. Even though my guy got hurt. All right, we've got a little right bit extra time. I just got to make sure I take him out in that painful. time. All right, come on, L.A. Big boot. Jeez, makes Stop the just slipping. Kicks out. He still has life. What do you have to do to put this guy away? All right. He got out of the yacht kick. So let's see if he gets out of the 808. Is it enough to put Knight away? Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know he had resiliency. I didn't know. Snatched away. This match just keeps getting more and more exciting. And you can sense the desperation mounting as that last move couldn't finish. Thing. Ooh, okay. This is it. Shoulder up before the count. Wow. Night show. Oh, look at the oh, look of this. Okay, Night caught me some slickness. I respect it. Breaks free, but will the damage prove to be irreparable? What's he gonna do to LA? All right, let's see if he can get out of his second 808. That's a bad landing. Picture perfect execution. Two. And finally, finally, he picks up the victory. All right, These that was a good awesome. match. Let's take another look. That was a good match. LA almost made a run back. Almost, but it wasn't enough. Here is your winner, the Dark Horse, Mr. Blade Franco. The Dark Horse is on a roll. For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. He fought hard, but L.A. Knight just landed on the wrong side of this one. I expect L.A. Knight to return to have that last laugh. Look, I do respect L.A. Knight honestly getting a lot of opportunities for a world title multiple times. But I do see it coming. I see it's coming. I just hope they don't keep doing this trend for too long because easily if you do this trend for too long, you can easily make someone end up being uninteresting. And the last thing I want is LA Knight to be uninteresting. This man is on fire right now, bro. All right, so I got LA Knight now on the side. Let, let's go ahead and get through some more people. Now, everybody knows LA Knight belongs on the team of Team SmackDown. We'll see about that. Yeah, we will. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Miz got somebody popping up. I'll, I'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to KO first. You know, no, no, let's talk to Waller first. He's not somebody who I'm going to pick off the rip. I already know that, but I still want to get through this story and see what we can do. <laughs> Grayson, shouldn't you be down in NXT losing title matches? <laughs> Hilarious. But full disclosure, the Grayson Waller effect is... Lost some momentum ever since you lost in NXT and caught me off guard. Ah. That's one way to describe it, but why are you here? First of all, the biggest box office superstar can go wherever he wants. But I'm here because I have the perfect way to rejuvenate my career. I waltz in a SmackDown and beat the WWE Universal Champion. Ha. For someone who just admitted they've been on a cold streak, I don't see that happening. Besides, I already beat you twice. Actually, more than twice since our rematch was an Iron Man. Facts. <laughs> but you never once put your WWE Universal Championship on the line in our matches while I risked the NXT title. It's only fair if you give me a chance at your gold now. I'm not sure you understand the meaning of fair, but what's in it for me? I heard you're looking to fill out your side for Survivor Series, and who better to team with than a former War Games winner like myself? I forgot course, Waller won a War Games, make honestly. Team captain once I'm WWE Universal Champion, but we'll worry about those details later. 
You know what? Just for just because I owe you a title match for my belt that you're not gonna win anyway, I'll, I'll give you that title match. But uh, you're not joining the team. Ah, fine. I'll give you a title opportunity in exchange for considering you as a teammate. But don't back out when I beat you again. Facts. Good on ya. And same goes for you when I'm the champ. But again, we'll worry about those details later. <laughs> Grayson Waller 3.0. We'll, we'll see about that 3.0, bro. All right, so it looks like we are getting deep into the Survivor Series storyline. So we're definitely going to continue this stream for this Survivor Series. So we're not ending. We're not ending anytime soon. The following is scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed yeah. WWE yeah. Universal Championship. That's right, that's right, that's right. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, okay. Here mm -hmm. comes the next big thing in WWE. Alright, I'll be honest, we already seen the entrances enough, so let's just skip to the announcements and then let's just get into the match. And there he is, the man. I kind of like they let me skip it faster. Usually they try to make me wait till I can skip that. Like I can say, there's some nice updates that, that came into this game. A lot of people are saying this is just another updated version of 2K23, but you know, I can give it as props for an updated game. Let's make this defense quick so I can go ahead and take on somebody else. Feel the atmosphere. Everyone's on pins and needles. The WWE Universe knows just how much I really should be means. working on the side These plates, two are no strangers to each other. In fact, if they didn't constantly beat the hell out of each other, I'd say they might even be friends. Grayson Waller doesn't have many friends. That man has made a pure ambition. Well, he is a smart guy then. He's either going to walk out with the WWE Universal Championship, or if rumors are true, the chance to be on a War Games team. Measured knee drop. I get Ooh. he's a War Games winner, but at the end of the day, right the Waller's not oh, even in my consideration. My this God. is more just me getting the chance to beat Waller's ass again for the fun of it. The challenger's a little worse for wear now. I had that well scouted. Escape just in time. Ooh, okay, nice, nice count. Nice guys. count. Like shooting a dart right into the champion's knee. Arm ringer. Their opponent gets countered with a right hand. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Uh oh. And back Ooh, I was going to drop him on his neck. Sorry, ref. Not my fault. He's turning the tables. Nice first. The Come on, Wallace. And the WWE I gave you a fair rematch. On his side. This time for my belt. But right you ain't getting point. it, bruh. I'll be real. I cannot ever see Grayson Waller line. being the WWE champion. U.S. Oh, champion, maybe. Intercontinental champion, maybe. But I will never see this man as a world champion. If Grayson Waller was to ever become a world champion in real life, I say it would be by the luck of the money in the bank. Call that now. I feel like the only way Waller will ever be world champion is that if he got the money in the bank and was able to successfully cash in. Other than that, I, I don't believe it. I don't. Just pure brutality. Come on, easy. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh, you wasn't gonna fly? I thought you were gonna fly. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Gets inside the ring. Oh, the referee, the you know what? The ref deserves that. that. He, yeah, it's that always this one referee. For some reason, he doesn't get out my goddamn way. 
Like, the rap all the rap calls. He doesn't mind. Get the fuck out my way, bro. Alright, let's end this here. Oh! Lala got some more fighting him. Pressure must be kept on. Wait a minute, setting in. All right, let's end this though. Submission coming. Yeah, nice quick submission. I think he's there we go. And the champ adds to their legacy. There you go, Waller. You got you know, your shot. A you can't do my ball. But unfortunately, it was clearly going to stay with me. Clearly. Here is your winner. And look, before you guys even really say anything, I know I have to beat him. Even if I was to technically lose, I would just replay the match. But you, you, you got to play into it, bro. You got to. All right. We got Waller out the way. I'm not, I don't care what Waller's about to say. Let's go ahead and just to see what's up with Owens. I'm going to get right to the point. You need me for war games. Kind of do. Okay. I'll cut to the chase, too. I'm 3-0 and against you. So what makes you think you're worthy of being part of Team SmackDown? I've been in two War Games matches, which is two more than your zero. And Finn, he's never been in one either. You need my experience. In fact, you guys should be begging me to join your team. I love Kevin Owens, but bro, you gotta chill. I don't know about all that. And even if I did want you on our team, I don't think there's any way I could trust you. You don't need to trust me. I'll be your hired gun. You tell me who to take out, and I'll get the job done. I'll think about it. No, I meant that literally. <laughs> tell me who to take out, and I'll go do it. I shouldn't have to. But if it proves you need me for war games, then I will. Okay. Okay, fine. But I want you to do this in an actual match. Not attacking someone from behind, like you usually do. Whatever. Just name an opponent. Wait, am I playing as Kevin Owens? This would be nice. This would be a little change, a little nice change in my rise. All right. Oh, come on. I, I hate the fact of seeing Priest's name on that list because that kind of tells me Priest might might not be in here. But let's take out the guy who wants to touch drawstrings randomly. Let's see what you can do against Drew Gulak. Then we'll talk. Easy. All right, so so what's going on here? Am I going to be a manager or am I playing as Kevin Owens? I don't mind. I'll do what I, I'll do either or. I I like Kevin Owens. Time for the KO show. Here comes the prize fighter, a man who always looks ready for a fight. All right, it looks like I'm going to be the playing as Owens. It's scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. Let's fix the Owens. Well, he calls himself the prize fighter, and he's earned that moniker as of late. You're absolutely right, Saxon. You have to remember main event battles with Stone Cold Steve Austin and Roman Reigns. A look of pure focus on the face of the prize fighter because KO always has his eyes on the prize. Yo, speaking of KO, y'all notice that crazy ass angle where KO pretty much got, a, got, got assaulted by Tama Tonga? They, they really brought back an Attitude Era storyline in a way to where Tama Tonga literally ran into him in a car accident and then beat the shit out of him, left him bleeding. Bro. I, I, I hate to say it, but I really love the, the change about a pace right now. And I feel like for something that's supposed to be the PE, I mean PG type of era, I feel like we're getting more of an attitude era mixed with ruthless aggression, which is perfect. Those two mixed together makes perfect TV. Because you have the interest for stories, and then you have the interest for matches. 
Yeah, yeah, this superstar finds a way to take down Kevin Owens. Just imagine. I'll the say this honestly. Attitude Era was better for storylines right than matches, while the while the Ruthless it. Aggression Era was better for matches than storylines. I will honestly say that. Kevin Owens always has a malicious look in his eye, but tonight I'm seeing an Ooh, yes, I get to play as Owens. Now, there are rumors that the WWE Universal Champion is looking at Kevin Owens for a possible War Games partner. Kevin is out to prove himself Ooh, okay, as one okay, of SmackDown's okay. best weapons against Raw. Bro, KO didn't do himself any favors when he picked this opponent. He's got a tough hill to climb to prove himself here tonight. What a barrage of stops. The proverbial mud hole has been stopped and now I really like this. I get the beat out of I get the beat the shit out of Drew Gulak with Kevin Owens. And this is my first time playing as Owen, so this, this is definitely fun. Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Look out. What a cross body. That is reckless abandon being shown and paying off as well. And Drew Gulak isn't being given any room to I will recover. admit, playing as Owens kind of feel like me playing as my character already. Yeah, Gulak able to stop that surge. So I think that's the other reason why Owens is still so organic to, to play as right now. Look at Owens taking in all the energy from the crowd. Come on, Daphne. Let me get through. Let me get through. Let me whoop his ass. Oh, my God. Oh, a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Big splash. He's starting to struggle here. Kevin Owens showing us what a true fighter looks like. How are they going to hear after this match? Okay, I know his moveset, but I just want to double check what he got here. Okay, signatures, pop up, power bomb, swan time, package, power, power driver. No, package, power bomb. I'm sorry. Finishers, stunner, and he got two supers. I didn't know you could have two supers. I thought you only have one. Okay, so you got two supers. You got the stunner as a normal, the package power driver is a super, and the apron power bomb is a super. Okay, okay, I can fucks with that. I can fucks with that. But I really feel like the pop up should still be a finisher. That was his finisher originally when he came when he came to the B. But I mean, it's whatever. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Kevin Owens is in command right now. He just turned this into the KO show. Down in a hurry. Big splash. The sheer force of that landing was probably enough to fracture a few bones. Great reversal. And that might be the start of the momentum swing Gulak needed. Good chance for him oh, to sorry, regain Daphne. his wits. Didn't mean to do that. Pulled back into the hip toss. As you can tell, Daphne is one of my favorites like referees. Not only just because of her pill, but she does her job very well. Great escape by Owens. Got it scouted. And this one might be headed ringside. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Reversal from Gulak. I really hate how they're so quick to want to reverse the, the barricade compared to anywhere else. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He finds a counter yeah, for Gulak. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Coming back in the ring. He okay. turns it around. At least we got both now. That's all I want. Real quick. He just stole my shit. Okay, okay. Stolen from his opponent's artillery. And he is incredibly good. Hey, it might be time for a change of strategy. His best move didn't get the job done. It's not looking good for Owens. Owens is under the gun. Owens on the Okay, so okay, okay. That could have been it. All right. I don't and normally like to use the, the wake up move. Now. I don't feel like it always helps, but fuck it. Uh -oh. Stun, stun. That could finish Drew off. 
two. Oh, kick out, kick out oh. two. I don't know how okay. he just kicked out, and I'll tell you what, I don't really think he knows either. And KO is pissed off. That kick out just lit an even bigger fire under Owens. The one time he actually gets out of gets out of the splash. Then again, I've done it to him like about three times already. So I mean, the fourth time you should be prepared. Owens gets control. Both knees into the face. Going up top. To the sky. Oh, oh damn. Doesn't pay off. Okay, 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 okay. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Look at this. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. He foiled that attempt. Oh, oh shit. Just one more knee did. Okay. Uh-oh. And a carefully measured knee drop. He finds a counter for Gulak. With these two trading counters, an absolute master class. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Like I said, I do like the fatigue system. I like it to where like certain moves they end up just falling out because of it. All right, oh, man. let's go he ahead and use the rage system. Fired up right now. Uh -oh. Stop. And Owens All right, this got to be done, deal. There's no way he's getting out of the second stunner. Owens comes up huge with the win. Some superstars doing what they do best here. I'm really mad highlights. he hit me with my stunner, though. <laughs> it didn't work for him, but he's still excited to hit me with my stunner. Here is your winner, Kevin Owens. Try as he might, Drew Gulak couldn't get the W tonight. I gotta hand it to KO. He brought out the prize fighter in him to win this match. Finally, you see it my way, Byron. I truly do believe we probably might see Owens as world champ one more time before he's done with WB. If not, that's that that's a problem. All right, so we now got Kevin Owens, LA Knight, and Grayson Waller all unlocked for right now. Let's see who else we can unlock. But first, let's get some stats up. Nice, I was able to fill out three of them things. Okay, let's see what else we got. Yeah. <laughs> What the hell, Blade Franco? You want to explain what that universal title defense was all about? Focus on war games, please. This this is what I'm doing. I mean, that is what I'm doing. You want me to focus on war games, so that's what I'm doing. Ooh, Bobby Lashley wants to join along. Oh, Bobby would be someone. Okay, let's go through the line. Let's start with Theory. Hey champ, just want to let you know I bleed blue and I'll be honored to join Team SmackDown. Okay, for once in your life, drop the act and just say what you want. How about, hey champ, I deeply crave the spotlight, so let me glam on, on yours and insert myself into the main event of Survivor Series. Seriously? I have no idea where you got that impression. In fact, I'll prove to you that I have good intentions and I can be a supportive teammate. Team with me, and I'll make sure you get the win. How considerate of you. I really don't need the attention. I'll even bypass my singles entrance and enter with you as a sign of good faith. Deal? You know, if I have one, op one choice to skip a match, I'm skipping this. Sorry, I'm still not buying this. Whatever. You want some real talk? You're going to get stomped by Team Cody. There's the real awesome theory. <laughs> All right, for once, I'm gonna skip one match and I don't feel like teaming up with Theory. I honestly don't. <laughs> okay, let's see what Miz talking. 
How's the War Games team building? Just fine, thanks. Great, excellent to hear. I'll leave it to you, but I did have a suggestion for someone who'd be an awesome addition to your team. You said I was going to get to choose the other two team members. You are, and this guy will be an awesome choice. He's charismatic, a media icon, a former world champion. I hope you're not talking about yourself. No, but I would be great too. Anyway, I'm referring to the former multiverse inter infinite champion, Logan Paul. What do you think? Do you love it? I don't know. We have history. I don't think he, he'd invite me or Finn over for influencing or energy drinks or whatever he does on his time. You don't have to be best friends. Just give it a shot. I'll even make a six man tag match on SmackDown to see if the three of you have chemistry together. Deal? I, like I said, I don't hate tag matches, but if I had a choice not to, I'd rather not. And like I said, I don't really technically need any more attribute points. I'm pretty strong enough as it is right now. Yeah, no, fuck that. I already know we don't have chemistry, so don't waste your time. I'm going to keep looking for someone I want to choose, not your handpicked stooge. You're making a terrible mistake. It better not cost us. So, as you guys see, I'm well enough to skip some matches. I'm not going to sit here and do those tag matches with people I don't really want to team with. No offense, but it's just... I know I'm not picking the mid. I mean, I know I'm not picking Theory, and I know for a fact I'm not picking um, Logan Paul. It will be for some nice extra attribute points, but I don't really need it that bad. Let's see what Bobby's saying. Oh, I'm talking to him. <laughs> hey, Bobby, just wanted to gauge your interest on possibly joining Team SmackDown on the War Games match. I'm interested. After all, I got plenty of experience fighting in cages from my time in MMA, but I've never competed in a war games match. Maybe this is your chance. Maybe. But being the high level athlete that I am, I don't just jump into anything, especially a big fight in a cage without proper preparation. So do you want to train for war games? Exactly. I might be on board to join your side, but only if we team up in a cage match to get the feel for what a real thing would be like. I can set up a training session in the, in the PC. Deal? Uh, I'm really mad that they keep trying to put me in tag matches all of a sudden. Like I know the War Games match, I'm not tagging nobody, but come on now. But you know, you know, fuck it. Let's do it. After I get through this, we'll go back and do the other ones then, since everybody wants to do a tag match. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you there. And plus, I like Bobby Lashley, so fuck it. Let's, let's go ahead. I'm mad everybody wants to do a tag match that's in my DMs. How does everybody outside my DMs don't want to do a tag match, but everybody in my DMs wants to do a tag match? Oh, nice. We're facing the Creed Brothers. Okay, I like that. Oh, shit. I didn't see him coming. Oh, respect, Bobby. Alright. I'm gonna get back on track, because Bobby's doing all the work right now, and I feel kind of bad about that right now. Nope. Oh, goddamn. Okay. These brothers are are good with each other. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. How is the Creeds taking us out? Okay, this is getting ridiculous. How did you catch me, bro? I admit, this might be the most infuriating, like, one right yet, so far. I... 
get tired of both of you two. I like the Creed bros, but they're they're really making me having to now put in some work. Oh come on. Every time you catch me with the stupid ass Bro, I'm not tapping out to the ankle lock. Especially with my ankle not even worked on. You didn't even damage my leg and yet you hit me with three ankle locks already. Oh shit. Just threw me straight in. Get up, get up. All right, take your pick, Bobby. I don't mind. Okay, just a one count. I respected Brutus. I respected Brutus. Yo, the ref is, is slow as hell on these counts. Oh, I forgot I had a I had a corner move. I completely forgot I had one. I'm dead ass. I completely forgot. I've set that in my move set and I haven't used it once. How did I miss that? Holy shit. <laughs> Brutus came out of nowhere with a pounce. Okay, the bros are fighting back. Nah, it's not enough, bro. Not enough. Holy shit. I keep saying that because these guys be catching me off guard. Wait, that's Julius finisher? I wouldn't think of that as his finisher. <laughs> if I mean... To each their own. Oh, okay. Now he's just flinging me around. Okay, nah. I want to end this match very soon. Whoa, come on, bro. It's one after another here. Okay, get up, get up, get up, get up. I will admit, these Kree brothers are very quick to, to, to keeping on to us. I respect it, honestly, because, bruh. These, these dudes are making it a headache right now. Trying to save him. 
fucking Brutus won't get off of me for two seconds. Go lay down. I'm getting tired of both of you guys right now. Ref. One, two. Of course, it would be a one count. Every time, I can't even run out of this guy. He just keeps launching me with these shits. Come on, tap him out, Bobby. Tap him out, Bobby. working on him let's tap out Julius I'm, I'm, I'm ending this match now that was probably the most frustrating match I've had so far today just for the sheer fact that every time I got up both brothers are attacking me <laughs> but we got through them so that's good <laughs> All right, I unlocked another match at least. Fighting as part of a team in a cage was more fun than I thought it would be. It's your call, but I'm ready to take Team SmackDown Almighty. All right, cool, cool, cool. So I got Bobby Lashley on my side. Okay, let's see what comes out of this. Okay, so I can have Randy Orton possibly on my team, but I got to put my title on the line. Okay, let's do it. Screw it. <laughs> I love the Miz is just constantly pissed <laughs> every time I put the title on the line. <laughs> Look, it's against Randy Orton, a legend. I would love to beat Randy Orton real fast. And to be honest, I might want Randy on my team, to be real. Alright. About to go up against Randy Orton for my title. Predator is on the hunt. Randy Orton always looks good in the games, so they've always done a brilliant job with him. You know, I, I need a snack real fast. I've been at this for a little bit today. Oh, boss said camera acting up. Let me fix it. The definition of a WWE superstar, and in my opinion, there is no one as gifted in this game as Orton. Now, Corey, I Ooh. agree. Legendary Why does it look like that? All time tag team. Sorry, y'all. Give me one Randy second. I'm Orton trying to see if I can fix this camera. When he does some solo work, and when he's doing said solo work, Randy Orton is one of the most sadistic individuals. I don't know why my camera does this. It goes from being really bright to then just really dark out of nowhere. The more at home Randy Orton seems to be. One of the most methodical super trying to see if I can fix this real Every fast. Step he takes serves a purpose. Yeah, Randy Orton is always thinking inside that ring and provides no reprieve from the gruesome attacks that he creates. Always a threat. 
with the three most dangerous letters in all of sports entertainment, R-K-O. Oh, come on now. Now my thing is acting weird. It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness. Come on, bro. Stop doing this. Okay, now my camera is really just on some bullshit right now. It was perfectly fine for a second, and then I moved too far from it. And just listen to that crowd. He's a universal champion who is quickly becoming universally beloved. More like universally overrated. The fans may adore him now, but let's see how long that love All right, I admit, lasts. I have no clue what's going on with my camera right now. Okay, so we're just going to transition to off screen until I can figure out how to fuck to fix this. Uh, all I wanted to do was get a snack on the side, and now it's doing this shit. Introducing the challenger from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds. Everything has led to this for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The stakes do not get any higher than this. All right, before I let Randy just instantly beat my ass, let me see if I can fix this shit. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with OBS, but for but for some weird reason, it just seems like my webcam completely just is not working with it. Okay, I think I I think I'm getting it fixed now. Okay, well that's weird. The brightness isn't changing. Okay, so I have my camera on, but for some reason it's just extra dark right now and it doesn't want to light up for me. Alexa, turn on lights. I mean, it's a little better, but I, I still don't know why he's doing this. This is definitely different. So we got like that. Try and see if I can fix this thing. Hmm. 
Okay, hold on. I think I have a plan real quick. Sorry for the technical difficulties, you guys. Was not expecting this in the middle of the stream. <laughs> At all. Okay, I think I'm getting it so far. Okay, I think I'm getting it. It's just I need it to stop freezing on me. All right, I'll be honest too. I'm eating some cashews. I love cashews. I can't. I. I. I, I can't slow down eating them. Okay, I think I got it. All right. All right, I don't know why it's not showing now. All right, you know what, fuck it. I'm just go ahead and leave it as it is. All right, so I don't know what's going on, but for some reason, I guess my webcam isn't trying to work anymore for me. So instead of forcing it, we're just gonna leave it off and we're gonna go to the rest of the stream without it. I don't want to, but it seemed like we're gonna have to. So let's do this. What a huge risk the WWE Universal Champ is taking. Putting up his title just for the chance to put Randy Orton on the SmackDown War Games team. All right, team. come on, Randy. Really you got a chance now. I was going off the beat. about SmackDown to take this big of a risk. Or maybe it's just overconfidence. Maybe he doesn't realize what a huge threat Orton is. All right, drop him on his dome piece. There we go. Buster. And a maneuver like that will leave you on unsteady legs, to say the least. Here we go. Oh, Ooh, God, okay, I thought I had a bad landing. A huge miss. There's bad timing, and then there's whatever you want to call that. I will admit, I do want to fix the webcam, but I feel like it's going, it's going to like shut off the stream. The I really don't want to do that. Vulnerable spot for the Viper. Fisherman Suplex Classic. The Viper escapes. Nope, 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 He'll nope. the ring. Come on, Randy. Come on, Randy. He wants even more out of his opponent. Oh. 
answering back. Oh shit. Pulled in for a belly to belly. Yo, Randy Orton is truly a legend. And a hard man for the bill. To keep this man down. Probably not gonna win for a couple oh, shit. hundred years, Byron. You know what? Right, the Billy Goat's curse is in effect. Oh, I can't stand it. The Billy Goat's curse is broken. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Uh oh. What a takedown. Come Fujiwara on, Randy. Bar. Oh, Fujiwara. You can see the intent behind that attack. Definitely not going to say this is an easy, this one really easy match. That kick will stop you in your track. Yeah, I expect Randy Orton to kick out a couple of moves and stuff. Boom! Good night! So I definitely need to weaken him. Orton able to counter. If he doesn't stop reversing everything. And he was ready for Orton. Both wrists captured him. Nice! That'll either wake you up or knock you out. Saw that one coming. Go behind. German suplex. The Viper is facing a bit of danger He's taking a lot of energy to take down. To return to his instincts. Take down Randy. Yeah. Oh. Make it at work. And he's able to reverse. Powerless position to be in right now. No, didn't. Targeting the throat there. For the title. And he doesn't let the pin last long at all. Staying in this one. Ducking out of trouble. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? DDT. Kneeling. All right. I'm giving Randy a good-ass match here. Like I said, I'm very happy Randy Orton came back. Lately, a lot of wrestlers, unfortunately, have been running into, like, injuries that they've been, like, almost completely taken out of wrestling. But I'm happy Randy Orton's one of those wrestlers that, that's been able to come back. Driven down, and he all right. Hit him with an 808 from the ground. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Hangs on by a all right. Simply refusing to let this sorry, Randy. I'm about to put you in the submission. I'm not trying to go any minute longer going against the Viper. Not happening. And the champ stands tall. Once but I got again. through him. I did it. Let's look back on the action from the last match. Okay, let me. Here is your winner. And still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse. Mr. Blade Franco, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion with another victory. Will you listen to the ovation from these ham and eggers? How can they love this guy so much? He's definitely fought to keep his champion. All right, I really don't know what's going on, but it's like his, his, my webcam really doesn't want to fix itself right now. But all right, we got we got Randy Orton as a possible to join the team, so that's still good. All right, uh, let's throw up the submissions in this one. But yeah, like I said, I'm truly happy to have Randy Orton back on on SmackDown. Well, honestly, just back in the wrestling in general. Okay, look at one more thing. See if I could do something without completely shutting down my thing. Where are these browser pages?
Okay, hold on, hold on. I, I think we're back. Okay, cool, cool. So we we're, we're back. I didn't fully shut down the shit on myself. Okay. All right, the camera's looking a little better. Come on, don't glitch on me again. I think I can get this webcam to fix. I just need it to not glitch on me again. Okay. Come on, apply the change. All right, um, boom. Got some good thing. All right, I'll be real. I might just continue this without the webcam because I don't know what it is, but the webcam is giving me the worst problems right now. Unnecessarily at that. I don't know why it's doing it, but it is. I just want to fix this exposure problem. That's all it is. But every time I turn the exposure up, it just, oh, are we good? Okay, we're good. Fucking finally. All right. We fixed it. Let me get it back in place real fast. Bong, bong. All right. We're Gucci. We're Gucci. First time in a first time like in a long time I'm actually actually had some problems on here. But it looks like we're good. We're back in place. So let's go ahead and continue this stream, bro. Okay. Now, back to what we was doing. We were still seeing if we could get people to join our squad. Ooh, Stone Cold Steve Austin's the option. I don't know who's a 78, but to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna have anybody join who's a 78. But all right, so look like we got our people, we got more people. So screw it. I think I know who I want to join the team. Ooh. Originally, I was gonna go LA Knight and Kevin Owens, but after change of circumstances, we're gonna go Randy Orton. And you know, I need an all-star team. I love LA Knight. I do. And I fuck with Kevin Owens, but I'm going to throw in Bobby Lashley. Now, this looks like a monster team. If I can't have the whole Judgment Day with me, fuck it. Let me get Bobby Lashley and Randy Orton. Now, we're going to wipe the floor with Team Raw. All right, Troy, I made my team. You here to spy on me, Troy? No, I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task to recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done that yet? Actually, I have. Excellent. Ready to lock them in? Once you make this decision, Miz will let corporate know it's official, so you can't change your mind. Besides, we really need to start promoting the participants and Miz has big plans he wants to kick off for the Build to Survivor series. All right, I mean, if he says so. All right, yep. Not switching out. There's nobody else to unlock. I'm Gucci with it. Let's get it. I like the group I've assembled. Team SmackDown is ready for war games and whatever else Miz has planned. Good. I'll let the boss know. All right. Oh, we unlocked some shirts. Okay. Nice. All right. After that little hiccup, we are We're good to go. Away from Cody Rhodes' title defense because SmackDown superstars have invaded backstage. Oh, nice. Is this part of their I like this. Team? 
Luckily, Luke Gallows is here to back up his partner. Let's get back to ringside as we monitor this developing situation. I will admit, that's kind of fucked up. I wouldn't have called the shot on it, but I'm pretty sure Miz has something to do with it. Cody Rhodes has successfully defended his World Heavyweight Championship, but has no idea what's transpired backstage during this match. Well, he's about to find out now. I think this is the debut of SmackDown's War Games team. And what a lineup they've assembled. This doesn't look good for the American Nightmare. He's in trouble. He might not even make it to War Games. That is kind of fucked up. He's already cornered by everybody. Captain, including WWE myself. Universal Champion. Cody Rhodes is surrounded. Hold on. Cody has backup. It's his Survivor Series teammates. Well, at least some of them after Carl Anderson was taken out. This is about to explode. Here we go. Yeah, this is a squad lineup right Cody, here. Go, gentlemen. Save it for war games. Come on, Regal. I wanted to see them fight. Team Raw's side is at a disadvantage. Smart move, if you ask me. Damn. Of course, Cody would try to get a shot. Oh, shit. By SmackDown's champion. That did not go as planned. Made me nail Regal. I didn't even mean to do that. Oh, damn. Invading Raw was a slap in the face, and now he just took a literal blow from his supposed friend. Accidental or not. Well, for now, it looks like Team SmackDown is going to retreat. This didn't break into an all-out war, but they delivered a strong message here tonight. Yo, I agree, Corey. We now that's something we'll right the there. Survivor Series, and now we know it's going to be an epic battle. Uh, yo, I would not accidentally want to punch cage. Regal in the face. I can't wait. But I feel like now this means William Regal might join in. Maybe. He is a playable character in the game, so I mean, it is possibility. Oof. Team Raw doesn't involve, I mean, doesn't invade and sneak attack like cowards. So I'm sending AJ Styles to SmackDown for a War Games preview match. Who want to step up and face them? So you got my little message. We'll get back to you on that challenge. Ooh, okay. I might be able to, I might face AJ real fast. Oh, I want to talk to Regal and tell him my bad. I didn't mean to punch Regal in the mouth. <laughs> An accident. Ooh, that was a complete accident. All right, Troy, what you want? Yo. We did what Miz Yo. asked, and honestly, it didn't turn out that great. I never wanted to assault William Regal. What do you mean? It was must-see TV. Of course you'll like it. Especially the part when you nailed Regal. Good stuff, pal. Whatever. So what does our genius GM have planned next? And where is he even? I haven't seen him anywhere since I got to the building. Well, with um, tensions escalating and who knows how Raw would retaliate. Re Miz Man, Miz just didn't really get punched in the face. Home. That's why he stayed home. I mean, understandably, because he would get punched in the face. So he ran away again. Got it. Look, what's more important is Regal is sending AJ Styles here for a War Games preview match. And Miz has so much confidence in his team captain that he wants you to decide who should fight Styles. Okay. And you want my decision now? Yes. And Miz also said if you make the wrong call and we lose, then it's completely on you. So choose wisely. Much confidence from, from Miz. But you know... Because I'm the one who accidentally punched the shit out of Regal, <laughs> even though I didn't mean to, I'll be the one to face AJ. So, let's, so let's do I'll this. Let the boss know. This way, also, it's it's on me if I lose. All right, all right. I really like how this My Rise is going. It's, it got a lot of believable storylines with a lot of interesting quirks here and there. So now I get to go up against the phenomenal one in a one-on-one -on -one match. A man who's been champion everywhere he's ever competed. The phenomenal AJ Styles. 
<laughs> Sometimes I always thought it was hilarious when AJ do that little hop and shit before he gets ready. <laughs> Yo, but AJ is truly a legend of the game, bro. Truly a legend. This man is clearly Hall of Fame worthy. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds. I just want to hear his announcement. I like it. WWE United States Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ's out here to remind everyone just how phenomenal he really is. Yeah, but the, I do like the crazy thing of the fact that like. AJ was saying he's ready to wrap up his career. And I feel like this year might be his last year. So I do hope he goes out with a bang. Because I can't wait to see AJ Styles versus Cody Rhodes for WB title. That match is truly going to be a banger at Backlash, honestly. Like, definitely main event worthy. I'm just wondering, like, how well Damian Priest's match is going to match up to it. electrifies the WWE Universe. Look at the champion. Look at that belt. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. All right, we'll skip this. I, I heard my announcement's entrance more than enough. Let's get this match popping. Oh, shit. Okay, AJ's at the rush. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and see if I can slow this down. And, of course, I missed that. Tactician will take any edge they can get. To prepare for such a brutal match. Oof. Absolutely spiked DDT. Ooh, come on, AJ. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. I will admit, I've been watching AJ Styles ever since his TNA days. I mean, early on TNA days. And I've always been a fan of this man. He's always been creative, very skilled, very well versed all around. And it's like, he's one of those people who, no matter who you put him up against, he will always have a good-looking match. And those are always your key people to have as a world champion in any company. Anybody that you know you can put into a match against any person there is, and they make it look good. Just one step ahead. Shit, even in the game right now, AJ is making this match look good. Dragon screw. And Styles is brought to a disadvantage Ooh, okay, now. Okay. Away for an early pin. And he kicks out. He ain't getting paid by the hour. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay, Dangerous caught me slipping, there. caught me slipping. Shining Wizard finds the mark. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being oh, no. applied. Not tapping on. He is damaging me pretty fast, so I'll give him that. Hit him with his own combination. He's heading back to the ring. Should have been ready for that boot. Alright, alright. It's AJ. Of course AJ is gonna power out of that. But well, let's see if I can end this match real quick. Of course they gave him his resiliency. Why wouldn't he? But he used it up now, so at least that's one less worry. He's positioning himself, closing in. Okay, okay. Shoulder up even before a one count. Nah, bro. Got to do more work than that, AJ. Lights out. DDT connects. Shifts it back onto him. Showing off his aerial magic. Nope. I know your moves, AJ. I'm not letting you catch me with that springboard DDT. Even though that move is, pun intended, phenomenal. I'm sorry. There's return fire on AJ. Whoa! Yeah. Come on, bro. That is the attitude of a dare. Come on, AJ. Give me a championship-worthy match here. Trepidation. No fear. Absolute reckless abandon. AJ 
Okay. 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 Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the face. My God. Oh, man. He gets out of the way. Slipping on that one. I'll I'll be lying if I didn't say I wasn't a little locked in right now. Wait, what? Nah, you gotta do more than that, AJ. My, my nigga hit me with a pop up Styles cross. That's how you know AJ's one of the best. He could turn his move into a pop-up move just out of nowhere. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. All right, let's get him with the spine buster real fast. And if you get up, I got an 808 with your name on it, bro. Okay, I got an 808 for your name. Dangerously close to ending it all there. Oh no, you reverse it. Okay, okay. Oh no, no, don't don't lose it. Don't lose the battle. Neither superstar giving an inch here. The fight is on and it's furious. Neither competitor is backing down. Well, I gotta be careful. I'm already learning stink on fatigue. Alright. Reversal on top of reversal. You can feel the contact. There we go. Now let's hit him with that 808 from the ground. Okay, this should be it. It's AJ Styles. What the fuck did I expect? Alright, I will say this. He's giving me the match I wanted. He's giving me a champion's caliber match right now. This might not work, but fuck it. Let's give it a shot. I've gotten more from weirder moments. Okay. Well, I guess all I needed was a diamond elbow. I'll take it. I'll take it. But yo, definitely a good match. Definitely what I wanted. I'm kind of mad my, my, my stream was acting up, but at least I know for the long run it still was going on, on Twitch, so I'm, so I'm happy with that. Unfortunately, now the VOD upload is going to be a little, little bit in half a half, but it's all right. The Dark Horse, Mr. Blade Franco. Nobody can keep the WWE Universal Champion down. The right man might not have shown up yet, but he will sooner or later, and this fluke run will finally end. I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now. Like I said, man, honestly, if they sent Cody, it would have been the same type of thing. Same thing. All right, let's see what we could do here. Oh, what up, Finn? What's happening? We got to win against AJ, but War Games is going to be a whole lot tougher. With you and the rest of the crew we have, I like our chances. Same. Although I do wish we weren't fighting on Miz's behalf. Facts. I hear you, but it's bigger than that. So how about we win the match, then we'll work on getting our house in order. Deal. See, that's why I like working with Finn. I really wish they just said screw it and let me just team up with Judgment Day. I feel like that would have made more sense. Hype for Survivor Series? Y'all all ready? Ready for war. We're going to burn Raw's house down. Nothing left but ashes. I like the sound of that, y'all. Love the passion. But remember, this is just business. Huh. As I'm, as I'm teaming up with somebody who's the leader of the Hurt Business. Well, was a leader, but you get what I'm saying. I kind of missed the Hurt Business. There was definitely a, there was definitely a great group. I feel like they could have went way farther 
but once Vince split them up, it kind of ruined the dynamic of them ever getting back together. Now Shelton's gone, Cedric is with a whole different team, and Bobby now has already got a whole new squad, which, let's be real, is the new Hurt business, but they're not calling it that. That's alright. Okay. Now, let the war games begin! One thing I've truly always liked with my rides, I've always liked the fact that they that they try to really make sure to incorporate the fact of um you have to, you have to play almost every mode there is in the game. Oh shit. I didn't think AJ would start the match after I whooped his ass on SmackDown. Alright, but it's straight though. Bring it on, bruh. to think that the undisputed universal champion is anticipating the entry of one man cody rhodes the wwe universe has been waiting for these guys to get their hands on each other for years but the champ better not overlook the rest of team raw especially aj styles oh no i am not overlooking this man whatsoever i am definitely ready for him i am ready for him Ooh, this is gonna be a matchup, baby. This is gonna be a matchup, baby. Representing Blue with his eyes set on War Games supremacy, it's the WWE Universal Champion. Oh, okay. I'm kicking it off. All right, I'm with it. I'm with it. So I get to kick it off against him. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. The captain of Team SmackDown looks intense. Don't forget the Mister. Hands on one man, the World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes. Universal Champ versus Heavyweight Champ. The WWE Universe has been waiting for these guys to get their hands on each other for years, and I'm right there with them. We're locked and loaded as the battle for supremacy is about to ignite. I'm cool with it, but I'm kind of amazed that they got me starting off the match, really. I mean, if they really want, want me to start off the match, that's fine. It's probably going to be a bad decision because what I'm about to do is going to really make you, make the game regret it. The battle lines are drawn. Red versus blue. Raw versus SmackDown. Champions fill out both okay, sides so of the battlefield. I didn't think I'll have objectives in the war games, but okay. Call me biased, but I think the WWE Universal Champion has put so much work into building the best War Games team possible that I think SmackDown takes it tonight. But can you imagine the chip on the shoulder of Raw Cap and World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes? It was Cody who was on the losing end when the Dark Horse became champion so long ago. Cody can exact some revenge tonight. And going down at that angle did not look good. Can't see this going much further after that. Oh yeah, I'm just going to beat down AJ. I just thought about it though. We didn't have the match where um we decide who gets the advantage of the first person coming out. So who's coming out first for what team? Hooked up here. Legs trapped. And what a maneuver Ooh. we just saw there. Well, either way, I'm fine with this. I'm giving AJ. Universal. I'm about to give AJ the beat of his life before him. Ooh, okay, I missed that one. All right, nice. Finn is next up. Okay, I'm with it. So my team did get the advantage. I'll take it. I'll take it. From the cage and beelining it to give their team an edge in the match. 
Looks Ooh. like they're bringing additional firepower with them into what is now essentially a handicap match. Oh, I respect it. So I could I could actually switch Sending over to different people if I want. Okay, I understand why they why they said as Dark Horse. Because if I want, I can switch off to one of these other guys. Okay. Well, I trust Finn's like computer, so I'm gonna let Finn Finn computer do what he do. I'm gonna stick to my Dark Horse guys. Some extra spice to the numbers advantage by coming in armed to the teeth. See, look at that. Perfectly, he's coming in with weapons. Just the way I want it. Great response to AJ there. If you're on the opposite side of this entry, you are bracing for a Come on, come on, Doug Finn. Help me out. Help me out here. Mr. Evolving Door. You gotta love the fact of seeing a match with two former leaders of the Bullet Club. Both wrists captured and moved. Boom! Good night! What a knee! Oh! Time is ticking away. Shortly we'll have a fresh competitor to even the odds. Guys, we're about to see There we go. A nice rock is here. Yeah, he's busted open now. Like a bat out of hell and about to even things up in war games. He got whipped into that corner. Nah, bro, you ain't jumping my partners. Big forearm. Styles taking it by surprise. Ooh, okay, that's fine. Ben, you can work on AJ. I'll take care of Gallows. Beat down in the corner. Show absolutely no AJ's nice and beaten down, so we, we already got a good advantage on that part. Now we need to beat down Gallows. He deflects it right back. Big shot taken. That That's my partner. Well. He just barely dodges. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Nice quality spine buster on to Gallows. Oh yeah, and Randy's coming out next. We're definitely winning this war games without a, without a problem whatsoever. Take your pick, Finn. Who you want? Who you want to beat down? Get off my partner, bro. Oh shit. Okay. Luke is in a distressing spot. Luke has run into a roadblock and entering into an absolute. Nice fight. It's alright, Finn. Take a quick break. You got Randy in here. Amazing how smooth that looked. Must be hitting the weight room hard if you can suplex that much. I ain't gonna lie, this seems like a this seems like it's gonna be a pretty easy war games match right now. I'm trying to just beat up on both of them just for the hell of it. I know I don't need to, but I'm just doing it. And drop him on his own piece. Now, honestly, I don't care who we pin or take out this match. But I know for a fact, once everybody's in this, I'm just going to try to take out everybody as fast as possible. Well, I just gotta remember, I gotta smack Cody in the face. For some reason, I, they want me to hit Cody, so I gotta make sure I do that. Oh, yes, good save, good save, good save, Finn. Oh, my fault, Finn. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Someone watch Gallows. He's coming in. I mean, not Gallows. Anderson. Good shit, Finn. Oh, 
I got you, Randy. Oh, Randy, Randy. <laughs> I need help, Randy. for a little bit. Ooh, I forgot I could do that. I be forgetting the moves I can do in this game just because I don't be doing them too often. Nice boot onto Carl Anderson. Just for the hell of it. Oh, I was about to hit him with an 808. Okay, I guess Carl Anderson ain't having that. All right, Bobby. Bobby's making his way to the ring. Bobby Lashley. Oh, this blitz is just. Oh shit. Gotta always watch out for AJ. in here, bro. I'm like the most hurt in our team only because like I started off in oh god no okay it's a good thing this ain't the end of the match but damn that caused a lot of damage Take that ball. I'm gonna pump myself up for this real fast. Quick neck breaker. Oh, go ahead, Bobby. I look for your thing. Alright, Cody's coming in. Nice, Randy's holding it down. We officially in this job. Alright, wait. Did it want me to do something? You've been waiting over two years for the moment. I want to put it in the ring. So you put it in the center of the left ring to prove you're the champion. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Here we go. Oh, hell no, no. Ooh. What? What? So I instantly lost the match from that one scene? Are you serious? What? What? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. We had this match won. And you're telling me just because of the cutscene, I lost? Get the fuck out of here, bro. I have a feeling these two will meet again down the line with a lot more at stake. We'll see about that, Michael. Unbelievable. Until then, this is Team Raw and the American Nightmares Night to stand tall over WWE. That's some bullshit, bro. All that work for nothing. All of that work for nothing. I thought it was going to lead to a cutscene to where I could still have the chance of beating him. John Cena, 380 days. I don't know why they're showing that one. I mean, it was a nice rain, but I wouldn't say it was one of the best ones. Uh, well, that's gay. The WWE Universe is shocked after the dominant victory by Cody Rhodes over Blade Franco at Survivor Series in War Games. Shocked? I'm not. 
Same old rats fighting each other over scraps of at my table. Someday soon I might have to come back and take my seat. Man, whatever, bro. Tough one out there, champ, but don't let it get, get you down. We still got the gold after all. Thanks, Finn. You're, you taking title matches anytime soon? Just wondering. I'm related to the outcome of our war game match. Talking about a kick of the man while he's down. No, you're right. We, we, we all win or lose together. Team effort. But let us know about the title match question. <laughs> Yo, Randy, use a bitch. <laughs> I fucks with you, but use a bitch ass for that. Hey, yo, Randy was just just like, yeah, fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, so I did leave out some missions, and you know, fuck it, it's whatever. Who? Oh, okay. I don't know when the last match is supposed to be. I'm really guessing the last match of anything should really be like around like that point, but we'll see. Hey, what's up, not not your type? What's happening, bro? I hope you enjoying what you're watching, bro. Me, I'm having fun. honestly, I'm having fun with this my rise, man. Even though I didn't like the outcome of that war games match, I'm 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 still here. I'm still here. <laughs> Yes, yeah, spin the spin the coin. Thank you. I mean, the game's going all right, honestly. I'm I'm truly having fun with this my rise. This thing's been going on for a good while, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Right now, I'm I'm now in the part to where I'm now going to be dealing with Cody Rhodes. So I'm gonna take care of these side missions here, and then I'm gonna start my next part of the story against Cody. Thank you. I, I I tried to work hard on that. I know I didn't add the rest of this and everything, but that's how I would want to look, per se. So, so thank you, though. <laughs> you. I hope everything's going for you, you though, man. I hope everything's going I like well. To go on vacation in my mind. Here's what I'm thinking. What are we doing here? Close your eyes, take yourself somewhere exotic, and imagine yourself doing the most exciting thing you can think of. <laughs> which for me is Look, all right. I'll but maybe add some fun. beard later on. I but mean, it could give a dynamic of my guy getting over there a little bit. Why not? But I, I still, I mainly got this twisted. <laughs> but that's good though. I'm happy everything's good with you, man. Or a girl. I don't, I don't know. Either way, I don't discriminate. Hope everything's going good. Period. All right, so it looks like we got a match in Mexico. For some reason, she said Doink, Doink the Clown. Am I really fighting Doink the Clown in Mexico? I mean, for right now, I've been on a series with WB's on uh, my rise, but I do I do welcome literally any other... Oh, God damn, it is Doink the Clown. Fuck. But yeah, I do welcome really any other game. Like, uh, lately, I've been playing Call of Duty... I don't play the multiplayer. I play zombies. I'm a zombies zombie player. Um, what else have I been playing lately? Uh, I've been on Hell Divers lately. I will. I'm planning on getting that on the stream, as well as um, Supermarket Simulator. So I mean, like, there is other games I, I have been playing here and there, but lately on the stream, I've been sticking straight to to um, WB. But. I am planning on switching off a little bit to give a little break from um, my rise here and there. <laughs> oh man, I do. The fact that I get to face Doink the Clown in Mexico is something, something unique. Is it weird that Doink the Clown was almost a threat one time back in the day? Like he, he, he was actually a threat back in the day, but not much now because he's not around anymore actually. But all right, I get to beat him down in Mexico. See, I got a little beard in the game. It's, it's tied up. I don't have this tied up, but it's there. <laughs> all right, on the PS, Helldivers is one of them. Uh, I've been playing the latest Madden. I like playing the Superstar mode in Madden all the time. I already got my running back looking really good. I'm working on my quarterback. He's getting there. But I got to put a little bit more work into him. 
What else have I been playing? Uh, once in a while, I'll hop on something like Fall Guys. Uh, ooh, what else? What else? The Call of Duty. I've been playing Call of Duty um, Cold War Zombies on, on the PlayStation. As well as um, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Me, personally, that's my favorite. I know a lot of people don't like Infinite Warfare, but I still liked it. It was a good game. Oh, okay, I gotta get concentrated. Not really concentrated. This is gonna be easy. Just don't the clown. But yeah, I, I got a lot I got a lot of random games here and there. I'm I'm very open to trying random new games as well. Like any new games that come out, I'm always welcoming to give it a shot. Like, I can honestly say I'm like a casual gamer, technically. I'll just, I'll play anything that I see that's like fun at the moment and, you know, just go at it. And if I feel like it's stream worthy, I'll throw it on the stream. Damn, Doink is already red? God damn, I'm beating him down a little bit easier than I thought. I hate that animation that really does that. Ooh, okay. Maybe don't get that easy if you if you let him do his thing. Okay, okay. I can fix this. I can fix this. Give him a couple of chops. Nice little Corvette suplex. Okay, KK, okay, okay. what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Bring your ass here. Drop this clown on his dome real fast. Oh, no. Hit him with the suplex. And a nice splash. Come on now. Okay, Doink got some more fight in him. But yeah, I, I, I do stream on multiple days, though, so I will be back on the stream tomorrow, and who knows? If anything, I might let tomorrow be the day where I take a break from my rise. Because don't get me wrong, like, I love playing this series. I could play this shit all day, but I, I know at some point I gotta give this game a break at least once on stream. I'm already considering Tuesday is gonna be a Zombies Tuesday. It's something I used to do. So I, I might hop on Tuesday, put on a zombie map, you know, play that. And, and tomorrow, I think about it based off how I'm feeling. If I feel like continuing to my rise, I'll do that. But if I want to take a break from it before zombies, I'll I'll hop on tomorrow and, you know, we'll play something different. Maybe some hell divers. I, I haven't helped the democracy in a while. All right, but we got through doing the clown. That wasn't much of a challenge I expected it to be, but fuck it, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, we got got that challenge out the way. Let's run through the next one. I want to speed through these challenges real quick. Get back in the story. Listen. I know you're dealing with a lot of pressure right now after war games. It's overwhelming. And it can make you forget why you stepped Oh, I do have a Discord. I don't have a Discord group or a channel, but I do have a Discord on the account. I'm, I mean, I might not give it out right away. Sorry, but down the line, who knows? Down the line, I might make a little Discord just for the hell of it, just so like you got updates and everything, because I have been thinking about it. I honestly have. Pins only. Back to the core of wrestling. Okay, pins only wrestling. Okay, we could do that. All right, that shouldn't be too hard. I just got to drop some people in their heads a little bit. Ooh, El Original.
Ooh. I didn't think they had this arena without the fans. It's actually pretty cool. You know, I will say this though. If you do want to find me on Discord, I do um I will say if you do want to find me on Discord, I do have it under my name. Everything I mainly have it under Mr. Blade Franco, just to make it easy, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, if you do want to find me on there, you know, send me a message, you know, just let me know you 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 the person I'm talking to on Oh shit. I got concentrate. There we go. I had to take his head off real fast. Stretch him out real fast. But yeah, like I said, just if you want, just look for me by my name. Send me a little message. And you know, just hit me up with whatever. Some elbows on this cat. All right, we're pulling business out of here. I will say I do like the fact that WB added in a character called El Originato because I, I feel like they wanted to ask Sammy if they could use El Generico, but he wanted to keep it unique to where he's not there, but he's technically there, just a different name. It's literally El Generico, just different name and the switch in color patterns. Oh, I just noticed. Did you hit me with a follow? If so, thank you, man. I just noticed my, my follower account went up, but I, I don't have it on my, my um OBS to tell me who it is. But definitely, much love. Appreciate it. Oh, I wanted to hit him with it, but I couldn't. Look, my guy, I'll, I'll 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 break this down nicely. I I don't really need any like um. I don't really need any like special graphics or anything. Right now, I'm I'm pretty okay with what I got, and I'm still starting out, but I I do appreciate it at least. Let's drop El Generico, I mean El Original, with this 808 real fast. Ooh, only a two count. Okay, okay, okay.
God damn it, he keeps reversing all my ground moves all of a sudden. I respect he's trying to give me a fight at least. Alright, let's see if I can put him away real fast. Nice. Put him down in a nice match. Alright, if anything. I guess I'll take a look, but I uh, sure I guess. But like I said, just send it all through the Discord uh, for for right now. All right, so nice, nice. Okay, none through social media. Okay, I thought I was going to have one pop up through there. Let's go ahead and level up one of these things. Put up resistance. Definitely should help. Let's see here. Alright, I, I, I found you on here. So let's get back onto this. Huh. I don't know why they won't let me do this one though. I really do want to see what this for the record is about. All right. Originally I did say I want to make this a lengthy stream. We're already four hours in. So, you know, it's a good number. So, you know, we're going to keep it going. We're gonna see what's up with Cody Rhodes here and see what the Cody story is about. I'll probably 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 get that matchup finally. Here? Slow down there, Tiger. Don't get hot. This isn't an invasion. Then what are you doing at my show? Do they not have gyms at Raw? I'm here with news. Because I wanted to tell you man to man and not have you read it on social media. To think I could have continued to live I respect in blissful you. ignorance. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But after I beat you at Survivor Series, Miz and Regal are giving the WWE Universe what it wants. You and me. Title versus title. Ooh, finally. Run. Let's go. That's actually good news. Thanks. Honestly, you could have slid into my DMs to let me know. Miz asked me to come to SmackDown. He made an additional proposition. Oh, God. <laughs> let me guess. The WWE Universal Champion and the world heavyweight champion in a tag team match for the first time ever and it's gonna be <laughs> like awesome this. he tell you already <laughs> my nigga already knew it i learned the defeat of teddy long <laughs> so what do you say shout out to teddy we long, obviously bro. both like gold you ready to team up you know i love cody so fuck it. you I'm know in. what hell with it i'm in I knew you wouldn't resist the opportunity. Go team. <laughs> I hate how my guy so, sounds so unenthusiastic about it, but I do love the concept of getting to face Cody finally and keep it into a, like a one-on-one -on -one match. So let's, let's see what's up with that, especially since I can't unlock whatever the next side mission is. So let's, let's see what that's about. Okay, so we're going against the Viking Raiders. All right, I like that. Yo, even Valhalla looks good in this game. 
I've been waiting to go up against the Viking Raiders. I, I felt like something Viking like this time. was going to happen. Sorry, just closing the blinds real quick. The following is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring, accompanied by Valhalla at a combined Ooh, weight actually, of 552 pounds. pounds. Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders. Hope you guys, hope you like the shirt at least, Hard you know. To stop this in so terms of spectacle. An effective intimidation tactic. Vikings were smart warriors. Oh, sure. They're waging a mental war. Well, it's working, because I'm pretty tagging. scared. And nobody's surprised at that. All right. Since we're already in a lengthy part of the stream, I definitely say from here, These after the story, no after the trading storyline, you know we're going to go ahead and call it for right now. Ugly. Let me turn this back down a little. Oof. Galloping right. into history, nice little stretch. All odds. It's the dark horse. I mean, I do fuck with the fact that they that they want to give me a matchup real quick like this. From Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 245 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse, Mr. Blade Franco. A once forgotten man who is now etched in the annals of WWE history. This is inspiration personified. Sure, but he better be careful or he might find out what happens when an underdog becomes overrated. It usually doesn't end well for them. All right, it's all good, though. It's all good. It's all good. Both world, ch both champions going, teaming up together. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, looking to continue his dominance in WWE, competing at his highest level, striving for the main event and the biggest prize. <laughs> but I say, nah, I'm good though. Trust me, I've been staying hydrated. I got my drink here. And from Atlanta, Georgia, in it's just been a lengthy stream. I've, I've, it's been four hours with this, so it, it's going to happen. But, but yeah, good looks though. <laughs> good looks. <laughs> He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else is a world champion. Hard time. I will say, that world title does look good on Cody on the show. I'm happy at the WWE title, but yeah, that world title does look good on him. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. Before their champion versus All champion right. clashes, Let's the wear down the Viking we have both title holders attempting to work together in tag team action. Why does this feel like Ooh, the okay. is still Eric missing with the WWE Universal combo, Champion man. after all this time? Don't be so too Saxton. This is just good box office. Miz just knows pizzazz when he sees it. Ouch. Makes him pay with a counter. Okay, Ivar is giving me a challenge already in the start off. Okay, I respect it. Axe handle finds its target. Oh. Eric fires back. Toss. Oh, knee right to the jaw. Good night. Okay, let me get Cody in here. This is, this is a pretty rough match. 
Then again, I will admit, the Viking Raiders are honestly a very strong tag team. And I will still always say I loved them better when they was War Raiders. Right, the Viking Raiders, but you know they can't say War on, on WB, so I, I gotta understand, I guess. Okay, let's get Cody in here since I have to damage on my Cody. After shot, oh, ruthless striking. Caught with a punch. Come on, Cody. I mean, come on, Eric. Arm ringer. Well, that changed. Cutting off the offense with a nasty chop. I oh, mean, Cody Rhodes plays pretty smooth in this game. He really uh -oh. does. Elbow drop. Placed elbow drop. Bam! Oh man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Enough already. Cody is picking the opposition apart. But Eric can't allow this burst to hinder him. Oh, knee drop. Woo! I will say, Eric is just letting me beat the shit out of him at this point. Too. Oh, oh. Wait, so I gotta win the match with Cody Rhodes? I'm not saying I don't want to, but same time, like, really? There's a lot of hard ways to land, but uh, that might be the hardest. Let's do it. Hardest. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh shit. Okay. He turns it around. Eric able to take a stand there, but Eric has to push now while there's an opening. His opponent is just overwhelming him here. Yo, it truly no is. This can go on for much longer. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurt someone like that. Working the midsection there. Locks in the gut wrench. All right, I gotta start working on my horses. Eric is making a comeback. And he gets his shoulder up before the count. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Rolling out. Oh come on, I was trying to dodge. There we go. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Tagging his partner. Yeah, he had to tag out of some point. He was beating the shit out of Eric. Is he going to do a big time damage to the arm? Bulldog brings him down. All right, I'm definitely going to have to tag in my person. So that way, Cody can get a blue boot. But before I do that, let me try to make sure I take care of one thing. DDT plants then. Cody's taking a moment to soak it all in. Implanted by the DDT. Everything working Come on, Ivar. Rose's unloading offense Yo, here. but Ivar has been making a great showing on on um, WB lately. Even though his, his, his partner is pretty much like, I, I think he's on the injury list. Yeah, he's on the injury list right now. But I, 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 I am going to enjoy the Viking Raiders when Eric comes back. Okay, let me get in this, Cody. Let me get some. No way. Baking twice. Third one's nice. Right on target. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. And Ivar with a wherewithal to counter. Yeah. Dogs won't let you tag in the party. Ah, bro. Need to wear you out Look for a little this. bit first. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Elbow drop right on point. I will say, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of amazed like they haven't just made Ivar like a mid-card champion. Like, he has the skill, he has the momentum, he has the charisma for it. You know, I don't think it wouldn't be bad. The way Ivar been on the singles run lately is as if like they know Eric ain't gonna be back anytime soon, which technically he hasn't. There hasn't been any updates or anything on Ivar. So I do hope he, he comes back soon and come back healthy, so we get the full team. Man in. 
nothing wrong with the lariat. Nice boot to the motherfucking dome. Damn. Well, damn, why my guy run to the corner like that? Rolling into a monkey flip. And of course, Ivar, I mean, not Ivar, but Valhalla's gonna straight, like, interrupt me. Come on, let me just punch him in the face. Alright. Oh, well, that was some more animation. I don't know why, but they're not letting me hit the crossroads. Oh, there we go. Cody Rhodes just might have finished things. He keeps his team in the match. How do you kick out from two crossroads? Get the fuck out of here. You can't count that high Saxton, but that was one of the closest near falls you'll ever see. You gotta wonder what more Cody has to do to put him away here. And he slides him back to the mat. You know what? I got an idea. I'm gonna have to move quick, but I got an idea. Ooh, if he gets a reverse everything. Kick to the gut, going up, this hurts is... on the shoulders. Down to the B, I think so. And the ref can't even start the count. How on earth could he not keep him down for even one at this point? Makes him pay with a counter. Sharp no. elbows to the no. body, looking to fight his way out. No. Oh Look shit. <laughs> My boy caught me with the with, with the crazy oh, Germans just now. I thought she was tagging him your partner. That position nah, for you ain't tagging him in. Oh, man, landing awkwardly. I'll tag him in. I heard a perfect prayer. Oh, he's going for the pin. This Thou hollow. Stop. Fuck, talking to the ref. Ref! Daphne, turn your ass around! <laughs> he gets the kick out after Motherfucker. the one. We are this far into the match. Where oh. is this energy coming from? Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Oh, caught him! Uh-oh, uh-oh, no way! Trying to put them away, God able damn to it. counter into a close line. Come on, I just want to end this match here. Saw it coming and took him down. And tag, he did it. Let's go. The WWE Universe is... Wait, how do you reverse the Uzari mid-taunt, though? Big leg drop. Okay. This, this is becoming some bullshit. Uh oh. This isn't gonna be pretty. Oh, Suplex. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Boom. Okay, I'll get out. They're lining up their opponent. What do they have in mind? Oh, knee drop. Woo. Okay, I gotta get the victory with Cody Rhodes. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to give like a dynamic saying like Cody thinks he could he, he could beat beat me because he got the thing. Okay, I should have been looking. Now Cody manages to counter. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. 
Nice reversal. Nice reversal. Yo, sometimes I'd be thinking the draft the, the ref is drunk. I swear to God. Okay, I've already been fired now. Oh, he retaliates. Come on, that bow holler. What the fuck? Oh, I can't get back in. Damn it. <laughs> Driving me in and driving me crazy now. Against this shit. So much brutality with that move tonight. No, oh, no, I thought it was over. Oh, read this is chaotic. Come on, ref. Oh, right to the throat. Nasty. Planet with the bulldog. Oh, the momentum is right, swung on, to Cody Rhodes. Get one more. Just get any more. Cody. Do I have any personal moves? You mean like a personal favor, like my move? I mean, I would, I would say other than like um, what my character got, which is finisher, I called it 808, which is a fish to, fisherman buster. I'll say I do like Cody Rhodes' cross, crossroads. It's a pretty good move. Uh, what else is my favorite? I've always been a fan of Brock Lesnar's F5. I, you know, I know it just looks like a basic move where you're just tossing a motherfucker in the air, spinning them, but. I thought it was impressive to come from a big guy like him. Alright, nice, nice. Another incredible win for the WWE Universal Champion. Now that was a good match. Every time you think this guy's down, he finds a way to pull victory from the jaws of defeat. Well, like all good Vikings, Eric and Ivar went down swinging, but this result has to sting. Okay, I'm about to say, you got some nice art, though. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. You definitely got some nice art. All right. Champs versus champs. After their awesome win last week, Cody Rhodes and Blake Franco will square off against SmackDown tag champs Ridge Holland and Butch. We aren't going to roll over and hand over our titles. We're going to give you a fight. I did. I checked the Discord. I, 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 I saw what you sent me. I was about to say, it, it looked nice. I was about to say, it looked good. Okay. Okay. I don't know why Miz is promoting tag match after tag match. I wouldn't just sit here and suspect to keep tagging with the guy I'm supposed to be fighting soon. Miz is whoring the fuck out of out of um Cody Rhodes being here. And this is getting a little bit of a headache just dealing hey, with that. Hey partner, you ready to win some tag team gold? <laughs> partner, I'm your partner now. Wait, what are you been out of shape about now? We've won our match and now we've got a title opportunity. Which sure is great. I guess I just didn't realize that our team was the dark horse and the show horse. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you spent our whole match out there hogging the spotlight instead of working as a team. I did what was necessary to win. That's a problem for you? No, no problem. I just see you, Cody. I see you. What you need to see is that our next opponents are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and they are not going down without a fight. Don't worry. I'm focused. My eyes are most definitely on the prize. I still Good. can't believe maybe the next time we this. see each other in an airport, we'll be carrying heavier bags. So what they so what are they considering? Trying to make us tag team champs, even though we're supposed to have a future champ versus champ matchup for both belts? I don't I don't get this, honestly. It's a little bit too much. It's a little bit too much, but this is what happens when you work with the Miz as a general manager. He just does too fucking much. All right, let's see what we can get into right now. 
It's the warrior who's followed a dusty trail from the Take fringes to the spotlight. Just, um, go ahead and skip this real fast. I will say at this point, it just feels like that belt is just permanently around my waist. And it just looks good that way. I might as well tattoo the belt around my waist. Wait, no, that won't be a good idea. Because then if I lose it, I'll just look awkward with it. There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back right, it up. Skip this, skip this, let's skip this. I honestly just want to see Cody Rhodes' fireworks. I, I like Cody, Roy, Cody, Cody Rhodes' um, the fireworks. WWE Universe just exploded. Yeah, I need some more water, actually. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes looks as ready as ever for action tonight. Not dehydrated, but definitely need some water. Stay hydrated, kids. Like I said, Cody Rhodes looks looks very good with that world title. I feel like just any world title Cody Rhodes will look good with at this point. Skip that now. Hmm. So in this universe, the tag champs are the brawling brutes that hasn't broke apart yet. Okay. I will say I'm I'm happy I'm happy Sheamus is back, but I am happier that they split the brawling brutes. The like, brawling brutes are about to show us all how they th This team felt a little name. much. Just a little bit. You know, I just noticed something. They're in the wrong spots. Like, Butch is coming out as as Hollywood, and Holland's coming out as Butch. Ladies and gentlemen, fight night is officially underway. Yeah, after the brawling brutes competed... In their first war games match, How I think the guys entire do that WWE the story universe mode. developed a new found respect for the brutes. Seriously, how did you guys mess up this? See the fight of a lifetime. But Butch is coming out as Holland and Holland coming out as Butch. And why Holland look like he discolored without his beard? The fuck? Oh, all right, let's get this match over with. I love how they said Cody Rhodes like he's the basic guy in the middle of us too. I don't like how Holland looks. He looks awkward with like go, that shaved face look. Not him without a beard, but just looking like they hatched the beard out so they just the make up begins. his face afterwards. It just looks so weird, bro. But Daphne looks on point. Daphne looks on point. Tag team title match. It's very rare that you feel like the champions are the underdogs, but I think that's the case tonight. You might be right. It is going to be hard to take three, down three two tags world with champions. Cody. Okay. No way. The Dark Horse and Cody Rhodes are going to be fighting at the Royal Rumble, and I bet they'll get into a fight tonight. You can't beat the real tag team chemistry of our SmackDown tag team champion. Right, I'm gonna do this nice. real fast because I feel like this is still. I shouldn't be in a random tag team championship match. Placed into the corner. There's a tag. What are we gonna see here? Double team effort. Flying shoulder block. My goodness. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. Rose tied that one. Big forearm. Great job refocusing to reverse that. 
I'm, I'm mad that this that this dude still made it into the game. My fault, just just in a level. But I'm so I'm so mad that like we already got the Bruiserweight back. We got Pete Dunne back. Why isn't Pete Dunne get his name changed? Why is he still Butch? But then again, I, yeah, I think of a fact about like how how late did they work on this version of the game? So that's something I do admit I have to take in mind. Of. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. There's a tag. Got the tag. Got the tag. Thinking about what to do next here. Oh, God. All right, let's go ahead and fix this up. There we go. Wear down Rich a little bit. Guys, we're about to see the rocket Wow. I really hope the end result isn't us being tag champs. It just doesn't feel right being being, being a tag champ. Anymore. When, when it's like, I'm going to face the guy for his world title. We're facing each other for both our belts on the line. It... Here he comes off the tag. All right, I did my three tags. Oh God, I, we do have to defeat him. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Cody's not even a SmackDown guy though. Why, why would he, why would he go for the tag titles? But I'm sorry if I sound like I'm nitpicking. He's just, I, I wasn't expecting him to do this idea. I mean, don't get me wrong. This ain't the first time Cody became a tag champion on the road to become um world champion. I mean, he did it before. Good night. All right, I got hurry up and tag myself Champs back in. And he easily stops the ref's count. This isn't even close to over. Oh, nice bulldog. Oh, right in there. Taking their opponent all the way up with the Canadian right. All right, I'm in. Mean, Their Holland got me right now. He's, he's on me right now. Disbelief on the face of the champion. They both know what's at stake. Neither competitor is gonna lose easy here. You gotta imagine this match is a different complexion after what we just saw. Ridge gets the better there. Alright, come on, come on. Delicious power slam. Alright, Ridge is definitely on me. Defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Getting him into the corner. Pinpointing the leg. Get him up there. The real quick. Ooh, clothesline delivered. The champ looking out of sorts. This is what the purpose of a tag Drop team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Right, come on, Am I let's being get diplomatic enough, Cole? Using his body as a Cut him off. Oh, no. Wrong target. There we go. That's the right target. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Alright, Butch was ready. Butch was ready. He do it in the second time. Come on, Hodge. Okay, I kind of respect it. Holland not trying to come back in right away. Holland's in imminent danger. Oh God, that's devastating. Gonna see a new champ. Oh, here's the pen. All right, let's get this match over with. Oh, nice. Champion and the world heavyweight champion are on a collision course 
That's wild though. So but now, now we're both tag champions, tag champions and world champions. Together. <laughs> that is the most unfair thing to do. Make both make your world champions tag team champions. The WWE Universe definitely approves of the new tag champs. Why wouldn't they? It's not too often you see this kind of star power in the ring at the same time, let alone on the same team. Do it. Hit him. You know you want to. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Corey? I'm saying this is wild, bro. I can't stand either one of these guys. Tag champs was colliding for each other's belts down the line, bro. That's definitely going to be simple problems. I expect us to lose the tag belts very soon. Knowing Miz, he's going to throw us in a defense probably in the following week. All right. I mean, yeah, this has happened before, but this is not something I was expecting to see again because it never works out long. The two greatest champions in WB are on a collision course for the Royal Rumble, but now they're SmackDown tag champs together. Can Cody Rhodes and Blade Franco exist? Hell no. No, I've seen this before. You're damn right, Mark. And of course, it's Cody. Champ, how you feeling? Much to my surprise, I'm feeling great. I thought Miz was out of his mind teaming us up, but it's worked out pretty damn good. Cheers to that. Another lucky break. Another lucky break. Even when you dole out compliments, you manage to make them patronizing. <laughs> the word lucky triggers you? I've just been hearing it for a long time. Because you got lucky. Beating me for the WWE Universal title. There we go. All right. Gloves off. Here we go. What would you call it? I had you beat when Roman came in. It's been more than two years, Cody. You, Reigns, Miz, all of you keep talking fluke. Like I haven't been beating everybody who comes at me. You haven't beaten me. Not until the Rumble, partner. We'll see. For now, we have one more title defense before then. See if you can keep your ego in check long enough that we can win the damn match. Ah, oh, this ain't gonna go well. We're gonna lose the belts. This is why we shouldn't have been... We shouldn't have got a tag title shot in the first place. It makes no sense. Miz just tried to cook this shit like a grenade, and, he, and it's working. It's fucking working. <laughs> The Alpha okay, so Academy, the Alpha Academy is here. I don't mind giving him a tag belt because I'm going to do this. Holy Sheesh. Man. Sheesh. I still don't know why he just doesn't throw up the, 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 the two. Why he's only throwing up one. That's, that's one thing that's bothering me at least. You know, Alpha Academy may look like a bunch of oddballs. All right, let's keep this going forward. And there I he do is, like Alpha the man Academy. who's I blazing do. his trail but like I said, through it's, WWE. It's a little much right here. He looks good as a double champ, but I would like it better with both world titles rather than one world title and world one tag title with the guy that I'm about to beat for his belt. All right, let's go ahead and move forward with this. He looks great with all that gold on him. I, say, I, I do imagine that's how Cody would look if he was rocking two belts.
Let's hear these announcements. And then we're going to go ahead and get into this match. I'm just ready for the Royal Rumble match right now. I, I really, I, out of all the storylines they could have did, I hate that they chose the to make the, the pa make the opponents partners. the challengers at a combined weight of 532 pounds chad gable and otis the alpha academy okay, okay, and their opponents okay, okay. at a combined weight of 465 pounds the dark horse mr blade Franco, and cody Rhodes. I, I still love how they talk about Cody like he's basic, but they give me the big amount championships. Teams in their respective corners going over final strategies. Look at all that gold at ringside. The Dark Horse and the American Nightmare seem unbeatable. Not so fast, Saxton. I've heard rumors that the champions have had backstage issues, and typically those types of things spill over into the ring. Well, we'll have to see how that plays out here tonight. Oh, man, every single one hitting the mark. Right. And Gable had it scouted. Here's a pick. I've already seen it. It's going to be one of those cutscenes where, like, he's going to tag me. I'm going to tag him when he doesn't want to be tagged. He's going to get mad about it. Into an argument. Somebody's going to leave the ring. This is going to be nasty. Oh, God, he's going to take the ball. The champion with plans of driving their opponent through the earth. To a backbreaker, painful. Chad getting challenged. The yep. champ tags. It. Cody refused oh, it. He's see, walking out that's of even better. <laughs> it's still Things pretty much what I thinking. Somebody just went in toward the rumble. I'd say so. This just became a handicap match. Oh, and a wicked clothesline. Oh, I gotta. So I gotta win a handicap match. That's bullshit. Uh -huh. I would have rather the match just be called off. Why I gotta win it? Oh, look at this. Headbutt. Okay. The champion's down. The champion's down. Oh my God! We're gonna have a new champion. I oh, able to counter. Setting up for something here. Fighting free no. there, and that can no. be all the space that no. is needed. Bam! Ooh -hoo. A big bastard. Nice takedown. He made it. Tag made. Double underhook applied. Okay, I Butterfly suplex. I didn't think this match was close to over. Nice. Looking to take flight here. To get this done fast. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. That's how I get, get by this here one. we go. Whoa. Just <laughs> crashing down with I mean, high get by, I mean, get back up. <laughs> A sound suplex. He deflects it right back. And gets tossed back into the mat. Big forearm. Take down from behind. Just punched him right in the mouth. Elusiveness from Gable. Uh oh, caught by the back of the elbow. An elbow will break that up. What's he planning here? Fisherman suplex. Incredible. Kick right to the ribs. And there's more to come. Three. I got suplexes for days, bro. The champion put a ton of power behind that. Looking to completely crush the challenger's aspirations. Oh, needed a face. No mercy being shown to Gable here. This is Chad's Gable, perseverance getting do, tested. He understands. The challenger being outclassed here. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. Now is the time for Chad Gable to find a way to shift into that extra gear. Of course, you'll also roll out. It's all right. 
Let me give you time. Let me give you time to come back in this room. And then when you come back in this room, you're going to tap out, baby. Watch out. Fuck that. Risking it all and able to connect. I was going to give you time. Like I was. Missile. But then I changed my mind. And now gets tossed into the ring. Yes, tag. Dang. And he is now in a discouraging spot. Yeah, he has to devise some kind of new strategy here. And I think. I know. Yeah, I was trying. I was trying to take out Gable now. now. Cause Gable is pretty much there. Ooh. But fuck it. It could be Otis. Very measured elbow drop. Oh, ouch! And a kick. Elbow drop right There's on. There's no Otis. I love you, big man. But I, I, I got to put you down. Ooh. Oh, what a kick! Otis with the reversal. Otis might be able to start mounting something here. That could be the spark Otis was looking for. Oh, seen the Messiah. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Close line. Oh, what a close line. That lariat worked. A little bit extra. Elbow <laughs> drop right on point. The challenger not looking good right now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. I don't think a few is the right one. Well word. scattered reversal there. <laughs> Hold on a second. He might be oh, finding shit. a submission hold here. Oh, no. I mean, Otis kept caught me on the nose. He needs to find an escape route. Out. Nice. Oh, spike face first. It's always disorienting, taking right. those hits above the shoulders. This. Oh, man, check out this power. Spirella press slam. Tag. Yes, Tag and David. Thank you. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Nope. That I know you got the time. I don't let him do it. Fuck that. Right between the shoulder blades. Spy Buster Buster. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, my goodness. Him with this H-bomb, baby. I'll hit this in a minute. Here, ready to go. Oh, to the face. All right. The it's over. It's done with. Champ. There's no way in this hell, bro. It's still up for grabs. Now might be a good time to regroup. Re oh, it. Going right after the arm. Is there a total going to tap? Can you imagine what it would do to his confidence if he tapped out right here? No, he lets him out. Sure. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Oh, Elbow man. drop right on this point. match. Oh. Both wrists captured him. That was nasty. For the win! Two! Yes. And they stay at top. I think I'm happier with Otis doing bother coming into We've the ring. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. Nice, nice. It's one thing that Cody left in the middle of the match. It's nerd that he left in the middle of the match and left me and with... The Dark Horse, Mr. Alpha Blade Franco. Despite Cody Rhodes leaving the WWE Universal Champion high and dry, the Dark Horse is standing tall. Because Lady Luck is riding shotgun with this guy, Saxton. Whenever he should be finished, the champ manages to keep slithering away. Man, I'm amazed I won that match. Honestly. All right, we definitely pulling in for a, for this one on the stream. I've been a part of a lot of teams, but never was someone as jealous and narcissistic as Mr. Blade Franco. The only thing that gets me through it is the fact that I'm going to beat him for the WWE Universal title at the Royal Rumble. Should have seen this coming. You have a thing for walking away when a situation gets tough. Ooh, I like it. I, I, I like it. All right, Troy. What do you, What do you got to talk about? Uh, like I like I got to hear what you got to say. Where the hell is Miz? 
Uh, uh, Miz is at a very important media promotional event? He hightailed it as soon as Cody jumped off that apron, didn't he? Have you checked your social media? People love the drama between you and Cody. Besides, you guys can fix things up before your next match. There's not going to be a next match because I have had enough of that sanctimonious entitled SOB. Our run as a team, it is over. So you can have your tag team championship back because I am done. Miz is not going to be happy about this. Fuck Miz. I don't care. When I beat Cody Rhodes for the heavyweight title at the Royal Rumble, I'll be able to go to any brand I want, any time I want. Miz's control over my career will be finished once and for all. Huh. Your boss is really not going to be happy about that. I can only see Miz really just getting in the way somehow. For years, the WWE Universe has been waiting for Blade Franco versus Cody Rhodes, the rematch. Gold defines them, brought them together, tore them apart. Now it brings them back to face each other once again. Tonight, at the Royal Rumble, one of these men walk out with the WWE Universal and World Heavyweight Championship and becomes a legend. Legend? More like just another wannabe attempting to follow in my footsteps. If you're looking for a real legend, I'll be on the set of my latest soon-to-be hit movie. You know what I love about, about Roman going in, going to the movies within my rise? It's literally what he did in real life. The man held the belt, lost the belt, and the first thing he did as he lost the belt, he's he, he already got photos up of him on a movie shoot. He literally did the video game aspect in real life. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Yo. Yo, know, they literally did my rise in real life. Only instead of him dropping it as if like he he didn't win the belt, he just dropped it mid reign rather than him losing the, the match. Contest is scheduled for one fall, and it's for the undisputed WWE Universal and the World Heavyweight Championships. Samantha Irvin, greatest announcer hands down right now it's the wwe universal champion hoping to rumble his way into the world heavyweight title all right i know i should just watch the entrance because it's rare rumble but nah we're just gonna hop right into it bro we're gonna hop right into it bro now nah, let's get to the announcements after Cody left me hanging, I don't need to see his entrance, and he don't need to see mine. We just get it popping. Because we got this on the line, as well as his belt on the line. So we really want to see who truly is the undisputed champion. Heck, if Cody seems to have forgotten, his belt is technically a second weight belt that came about for champions because Roman Reigns was beating everyone down. But now the belt is now being represented as an actual second world title right then. A belt just for the random guy. He is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse, Mr. Blake Franco. Let's get it. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia. Look at that belt one last time, Cody, because that's coming with me. This is what we've waited for. Come, come with me. Champion my industry versus champion. And party and bullshit. <laughs> well, not really. I might just choke, but either way. Before one of the most stacked rumbles in recent history, we have a match stacked with drama. Two champions scoring off, but only one will leave with all the gold. 
We've seen the WWE Universal Champion go from dark horse to unbeatable phenomenon. But the one person who he hasn't really defeated is his opponent, Nobody Cody Rhodes. The undisputed part of that title scared. has been disputed yeah. since Roman Reigns vacated uh, it. Tonight, that debate one. could be settled once and for all. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Man. Enable to counter. All right, Cody is not going to be an easy match. Taking this to the floor. Look at this. Just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. He has an answer for Rhodes. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Setting up. Looks like a power bomb. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. Double underhook suplex. Counter from Rhodes. Uh-oh. Nope, not happening, Cody. Fed it off into head a head. massive pile driver. This is just brute power. German! So you remind me of that. Let's that one. He's got the answer for that one. This could do it. He gets an emphatic kick out, keeping a loss at bay for now. Down on the jaw. And bite your tongue with that. And misses on the springboard. We came in with a disaster kick, boy. Too ready for you. Check this out. I'm sure Just deadlifted up a into fool. a power bomb. I was supposed to beat you. At the exclamation point. Man, knee strike. Oh, here we go. Brain buster. What's up, Gonna Cody? turn your cranium inside out with that. He returns to the ring. No doubt Cody is having trouble here. Rhodes has to find a way to turn things around. I will respect oh, Cody just keeps coming back up. Cody Rhodes finding that. a way to slow his opponent's assault down. The U-turn he needed in this match could have been right there. Cody oh, hooking him up. That one. For the Shout out to his brother. Cut. Fought back with a punch to the gut. Wicked kick to the face. Elbow drop right on point. Come on, that's good, American Nightmare. And Rhodes able to reverse that. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. It's the Nightmare Stepper. versus the Reaper. Let's get it. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Oh, of Cody anticipated that. Why wouldn't he? He's burying elbows in the midsection. I think Seamus would be proud of how I just kicked his head in. Powers through after two. That was a long two count there. Ooh. Gets him with the counter. Counter after counter. Phenomenal. Come on, Cody. I'm ready for you, bro. I'm ready for you, bro. Both wrists captured and I've been waiting for this match the second our story started. Incredible the pressure being put on The second they told me the match was announced. Yeah, Cody's having trouble fighting back. Drop kick in the face. A familiar, gruesome sight on the face of the American Look, Nightmare. you finished your story. It's time for me to finish with the boot. Does he get him here? Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end. Boys, take it away from the cool for a fisherman buster. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Oh, he just kicked out. That was a matter of a flip.
fraction of a second. What's the tally on how many times we thought this match was coming to an end? I can't count anymore. The springboard attack the fails to land. Down with a face buster. And the assault to that area continues. Sustaining the attack above the neck region. How's that for a kick? The American oh, Nightmare oh, oh, Now that is why they're the champ. Looking for the victory! Two count, shoulder up, still it's holding out of that title. Hey, I can't okay. believe it. We were a second away from a new champion. Are we close to the start of a new reign? Rhodes hopes for victory dash for the time being, but you know, from the top rope, wards off that offense from Cody. No, Cody, it ain't gonna work like that. It's not gonna work like that, Cody. I'll be damned if I let you hit me with another crossroads. Oh, into a backbreaker. Painful. Boom. Flash the power. Power bomb. And then. Oh, knee to the face. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. Here's a cover. Could be in. We might not do it, but let's give it a shot. I beat Cody Rhodes with a splash. Not only did I beat this man, I beat him with a splash. Not any of the finishers. Come on, Cody. You are not champion of material against me. You are in real life. Definitely are. But not against me, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your Hold on. I ain't got the world title, but we're going to treat this like it's a world title. Is the NXT belt, but we're gonna treat it like it's the other world title. This is what happens, Cody. This is what happens. This is what a champion is going to look like. Holding two belts. Two belts. After defeating Cody Rhodes to hold all the gold, he's also now just a few months away from breaking Roman Reigns' universal title record. A lot can happen in a few months. For tonight. Let's see what Cody has to say about this. Nice. Got a gold standard belt. But I say I'm still streaming. Alexa, drop out. Y'all can see the intensity on that. <laughs> He's done it. Mr. Blake Frankel defeated Cody Rhodes to become the undisputed WWE Universal World Heavyweight Champ. Can we just shorten it to just undisputed WWE Champion, please? <laughs> the superstar with all the gold will be on Raw tonight. Fun fact, Blake Frankel will tie Roman Reigns' record-setting record -setting WWE Universal Championship reign at this year's WrestleMania. Oh, that's even better. That's even better. I got all the belts and I could tie Roman's record to where I will break it at WrestleMania. Cause you know he's gonna come back at WrestleMania. You know he is. And I'm gonna just snap that shit. Oh, that victory felt good, bro. It felt good. All right. We did it. We accomplished the mission that I wanted. So we are now officially the, the greatest world champ of all time. We hold all the golds. We got both the world heavyweight title and the WWE title. And the greatest of all time. <laughs> but y'all know me, I'm just in the mood. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the stream today. Like I said, today was gonna be a lengthy one as I promised. So I do hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed playing this far. I enjoyed this reward in my journey. So now I'm going to relax. And tomorrow, I'm going to, we'll see. Tomorrow I will be streaming, but we'll see. I might continue this tomorrow, or I might take a break for a day and, you know, play something else. But until then, I thank you guys for watching. If you're watching here on Twitch, please give me a follow. I stream every Saturday, Sunday, 
Tuesday and Thursday. It won't only be your WWE. It will switch around. But for right now, my rise has been my biggest focus. And and I'm just I've I've been enjoying this honestly. I've been truly enjoying this. And for those that watch the VOD on YouTube, please subscribe, like, comment what you feel, what you like, what was your best moments, who's your favorite wrestler. I will respond just for the fun of it. But until then, I'm Mr. Blade Franco, your ultimate WWE World Heavyweight Champion, your undisputed WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and I'll see you next time. Yup, yup.